Uh, let's see. We're on the Oath of Distinction. I feel like the Oath of Distinction can be good. It can be rather... It was okay, but like, I feel like it could be significantly better than the way that I utilized it on our first attempt. Which, I mean, isn't surprising, I guess, but... Like, you could really, like, power level an individual character pretty quickly, I feel. But it's just kind of challenging and risky. Uh, it can be. Yeah, like, the experience thing is, like, the, the real thing to try to, uh... To try to benefit from, but like, if you if you try to get the other benefits from resolve and fatigue recovery and damage dealt, I feel like that that advantage, like that that uh, the resolve fatigue recovery and extra damage, like that could be potentially good. Um, in like Kraken or something. If you, like, separate your units, you know, you have the extra fatigue recovery per turn. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good... Maybe that doesn't make sense. I'm struggling real hard leveling my squad. Do they get less experience based on resolve? With, with this oath, other ones don't get any experience. Normally, when one player gets a kill, they get, like, a little bit more experience than another... Uh, unit, but like it that the rest of it's like shared with the whole party. I think it's like 40% for the kill and the rest is spread for the entire party usually. Yeah. Uh, that's probably probably accurate. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We got 4,000 bucks. They got a warehouse burned down. Uh, we have 12 units. That's right. We hired a uh, really strong hybrid. Throws a hammer. Very, very good. I don't know if the Oathers are able to kill the Kraken at all without the Talisman. You need several turns in front of the thing without being grabbed by any tentacles. They rebalance the Kraken, though, Honorable. So, like... I think that it's way easier now. Well, not way easier, but I think that it's easier now to kill the Kraken without without getting within range, like range of it. I think that the new plan it has less health and you do more damage on tentacle kills. So, like, I think the plan is gonna be to just play normally and like get try to like get to a like a spot where you're not on uh, mud. Uh, or in the swamp, and then and then just kind of play normally. I think that's the play. It it apparently it can die from it. It's just that it's like takes a really long time, but apparently it's it should take less damage, or it should take more. It should die quicker. It should take less time. I don't know that. So I think that that's going to be the... that Like, that's my plan right now because we don't have... Like, we don't have that goblin trinket. Like, we just won't get it as the Oath Taker. So, like, we just have to come up with another plan. So I, I think that, that that's going to be the plan. I don't know. We'll see. What's up, Pratash? How you doing today? How's it going, Steel? On Scorpio. What's up, Toasted? Hope you had a fantastic B movie night. Uh, it's not B movie. B movie night's the first Saturday of every month. Well, that was uh, last weekend, but it was a good Friday night. We, uh, me and Kuro and uh, Nas came over and we had some drinks, watched some stuff, and it's fun. The plus 15% to hit, minus 5 defense oath seems appropriate for the Kraken. 
sure? Yeah, it is hard to hit them. It's true. You just want to be all about the damage. Did they also nerf the black monolith? Um, I did. It's possible, but I don't. I just don't remember seeing anything in the change log about that. But it's very possible. I just don't know. Go by tomorrow. One to three days. One to three days. Okay, is there a temple here? Yes. Yeah, that's that guy's fodder. I don't know if I want to spend money on him. I think I might go back to the. I guess I could see what the quest is here. Then otherwise we might go back to the arena. They tried buffing the two-handed flail. Uh, that might be a pick for Monolith now, maybe. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it if it uh, um, if it one shots and and it uh, if it's more likely to one shot and it of course has the flail attribute of not being affected by shields. I mean, it seems seems legit. Alderstein with a caravan of goods. Three days. I don't want to do that. Let's go do another arena. Oh, a couple of arenas. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of caravans. Oh, 13 nomads. Good fucking shot, Lord Loki. What a boss. That wasn't even Clarkus, I know. bad day, I gotta tell ya. Wasn't there an outlaw? Is it just cutthroats and slingers? Must be. Oh, sorry. I'll try firing at that guy. My, my bad. So, sorry about that. So I got a little excited. Sorry, ugly guy. My bad. Damn. Just 
surprised he didn't start fleeing already. You got me. You got me. <laughs> yeah, their last breath is uh, it's, it's not going to last. Not, not too long. Not too long. attention to who's going to be getting kills right now. I kind of don't want to have you get that kill. I'd rather have Einstein even get the kill. go yeah because that oath isn't quite done yet yeah I, unfortunately i spread the kills out like <laughs> like fucking all over the place definitely not what i should have done Just completely ignored the oath gg though run them down come here nomads Try to stun him so I could get in there with uh, with Rocky, but sorry. Right. Yeah, we're gonna get in there with Berlin. You're the tank. I'm gonna have you shield wall just so you're less likely to get smashed in the face. Xander. I kind of want to dagger this guy down. I wouldn't mind another one of these helmets. These helmets are pretty okay. What an asshole. What an asshole, this guy. Bleeding out a little bit there, bud. Just a skosh. Steinium, you're a tank tank. Tell me. 
You must have rolled. Oh, it's because you're paranoid. Is the barn really that stable? God damn it, rapid. God damn it. I thought he might do that instead of. I didn't want him to chop my shield. Unnecessarily risky for me to uh, not dagger or like I don't know. Yeah, just unnecessarily risky all around. Did I die? I don't think you've been on. Have you been on this file? Well, I bet that uh, North Fodderbro feels truly alive right now. You think? You think so? Do you think he still does? Five seconds ago. Oh, okay. I understand. Goodbye, fodder. Hey, look, we got a new helmet, too. <laughs> I've been in the gym pumping iron and doing Brondo for the last week. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, I, you haven't been on this file. get the list up. Templar is next. Unless Templar is in the list. Or is already on here. No, Templar has an A. You might already be in the list. I don't know. There's 62 fucking names in it. So, like... Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven bros toasted said, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's take this. Okay. Monsters have been spotted. Wanna pay me more? Oath of Distinction fulfilled. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't know what's terrorizing me. All right. The men come to you with a startling discovery. On the inside cup of a young Anselm's brain pen was a tiny rolled up letter, and its wax stamp bears the mark of a nobleman's ring. With agreement amongst the men, you tear it open and give it a read. You find that young Anselm himself was of high birth, and that he had writ a curia of absentia, or in mercenary parlance, an allowance to enter noble courts. You look out to the men and say, Young Ansom has blessed us once again. While the sensibilities of decorated cell swords would would prevent such scapegraces from ever talking with nobles, much less profaning their delicate stone floors, Young Ansom's letter carries a unique marker. Anyone in this company will also gain the self-same access that includes the world of or the next. This world or the next. The men surmise that Young Ansom must have held quite a high station in the noble circles for this to be the case. And then he must also have held your lot in high regard to offer the power to you. But, uh, who put the scroll inside the head? 
Throws a hammer, inquires. You and the men tell him to shut his mouth. There's no point in dwelling on the hows and the, and the what's and the whys. This is clearly a miracle and yet another acknowledgement that the oath takers are in the right path. Okay. Twenty-one nachos. Holy shit. A lot of nachos, but... All right, go ahead and see what's going on here first. Maybe I can hire a piece of fodder or something. All you can eat nachos. Hooray! Look at you rolling max melee defense. Like you're not terrible. <laughs> Lottie friggin' duh. Call them nachos, how fitting. I heard uh, Filthy call them that ages ago, and I can't pronounce what they actually are, so nachos seem to work pretty fine. This is the kind of nacho that eats you. Yep, it's very true. Yo, thanks for the hundred bits. Filthy robot, indeed. Indeed, we do. All right, let's let's battle some nachos, I guess. A plethora of nachos. I could eat a plethora of nachos right about now. Actually, I definitely could not. Come on, let me turn on the thing that lets me know that I can't walk on this spot where a cactus is. I can never think of a reason to use that cheer emote. It was about as good of an excuse as I could come up with. Fair enough. Jesus criminy. That's a lot of nachos, bud. We're just gonna stay put. Trying to not kill them back there because they, they'll just eat the corpses and get upgraded. Yeah, I could try spear walling, but it's like a little optimistic. I don't uh, have much good experiences with shield wall. Uh, maybe against spiders. Like, it can be pretty hilarious and, and effective, but...
I'm just trying to stand on the corpses so that they can't get access to them yet. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Pretty good hit chance, to be honest. This guy might feast here. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't when they're like standing on a corpse like that. So I don't, I don't know what determines whether they do or don't. Got yeah. that one, one too. Shit, Lord. I'm gonna pass so that you can shoot. Damn it. There we go. Now I can have him move onto that tile. That way we don't have another situation like that. Hopefully Einstein name doesn't get fucked here, but I think it should be okay. Okay. That one's fleeing. Fantastic. There, fire. Stand on that one. Okay. Good job, Lord. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Very good. God, keep murdering them. You're doing good. We don't have that oath anymore, so we are back to the normal experience sharing. think is the easiest origin for beginners aside from the tutorial one hmm you think peasant militia uh, peasant militia is like makes the economy easier um and like but i don't i don't know it can be kind of maybe a bit difficult in the sense of like not like knowing what to do when you don't have like really good stats maybe but i don't i'm not sure I, I like the, just like the, I know you said like not the tutorial one, but just like the standard, like a new company one is like pretty good, I think. Or the Raiders maybe. Or, well, Raiders you do have to like start with like being hostile with, with groups though. 
Peasants or cultists? Anything that can take large losses and quickly replace? Hmm, sure. I mean, you can, you can always take losses and replace. Uh, uh... I, don't know. I haven't done the cultist run yet, so I don't I don't have much opinion on it. You ordered super nachos for lunch and now my house is surrounded. <laughs> you, you fucked up. All right, the fight over you walk to a dead ghoul and take a knee where it's not for a, gr a gate of ill-shapen teeth you could easily fit your head into the beast's oversized maw instead of admiring the dental failures at hand you take a knife out and saw its head off you raise the token up and order the brothers to follow suit yazir will be expecting more proof than just one head after all Well, let's see. Are our dudes ready for the arena? Got some damage on our armor here. This armor is nice and crispy. Crispity crunchity. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta get my spreadsheet out. We'll take another six in, on initiative, I feel like. Six is just pretty great. Um, like when I'm not when I'm not rolling like a four here and I roll a six here. Like I'd take a three if this were a five, but it's a six. Uh, so Nimble is going to be next. Dagger Mastery overwhelmed Nimble for sure. Yeah, definitely Nimble. resolve rolls, so we'll give him a resolve here. You building a mace dagger duelist build, or just dagger? Just dagger, and I'm gonna have a two-handed uh, mace next to him, probably. Like, I could, I could, in theory, maybe give him... I, I could try to, like, do quick hands... Um, with like a two-handed mace or something like that, like could could be more reasonable. Works good with a Katal one. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. But um, yeah, I don't know. If the sequence is mace dagger in your attack, right? Personally, think the quick hand, two handed mace, katal is much worse than a pure katal duelist having a mace on another bro. Okay. That's what that's what I kind of want to try is just the just having a two headed mace next to them, but like the the only issue is like the person next to them. Like I don't think that they're gonna have like the kind of initiative required to actually like go before Rocky or anything. So it's just gonna be like a following turns kind of a thing, I guess. But I don't know.
They won't have the initiative. That's why you get adrenaline on them. Oh. How much initiative, uh, how much fatigue does uh, adrenaline cost? Twenty five. Okay. So they'd probably have to be a two handed nimble or or have a lot of fat. Can I have a bro with two handed mace close to him? Not just the two tile one, since the two handed mace stun for two turns. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I know that, like, this two-handed mace that Templar is equipped with right now is, like, not the, like, the ideal thing, right? Yeah, I make that bro nimble. Okay. And AP. Right. Uh, yeah, I know it costs AP. Why use two-handed mace? Just throw a daze pop from your offhand? Because that's fucking expensive. I'm not made of fucking daze pots. Pick them off the Daze Pot tree. Oh, okay. You can craft them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. Love to see someone grow a beggar into a level 11 badass. I'm sure that I've probably had a decent one. Happen, happens occasionally. Alright, what's the prices like here? Good. I gotta get uh, this guy with nimble stuff. So we've got a 16 armor, 15 helmet here, but that's not what we're looking for. Got a five helm around here somewhere. I've got a. I could do an eight. <clears throat> an eight and a seven. Like that. That hybrid is fantastic. I know, right? Oh my god, I'm so excited for that hybrid once they get leveled up. I'm super hyped. I just need them to not die horribly. That'd be great. Most tankers are just like hedge knights, but instead of fatigue, you have initiative. Yeah. Yeah, their fatigue is pretty bad. And their range defense is like the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. All right, what's available in the arena? Three recently retired desert bandits. And by retired, I mean taken by the vizier's lawman, of course. No bandit willingly steps foot in here. <laughs> All right. 
Kai Kaina's goddamn goofy laugh. For sale. It gets goofier every time I hear it. Yep. That's just how he laughs. That's just how he does. With the Oath of Wrath, my starting Oath Bro has negative 20 range defense, so it's not exactly a Hedge Knight. Whatever, they weren't they weren't using the range defense anyway. Negative 20 range defense, he's chasing the enemy arrows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like diving in front of arrows. It's it's like, you know, when when like a security guard like dives in front of a fucking in front of a bullet or whatever that's hitting hitting whatever they're supposed to protect. But it's just the arrows just going into the sand. It's just going into the dirt. And he's just like, oh! Oh my god! Or, or like, uh, or like in the Matrix, where where Neo like fucking catches all the bullets, except for like now they're all like arrows just in his fucking hands, just bleeding. I got him. I don't really think netting this guy is like that good. I don't really want to. I'd rather net one of these guys. So I think I'm just gonna move forward and attack this guy. What's up, Edge? How you doing today? I see the leper's animation in DD literally just stands there, arms wide while getting hit. Yeah. Yeah, the leper's so fucking badass. guys plus five resolve all right not too bad
Why isn't the old guy holding the banner using him on the front line for his melee skill still? Yes. Yep. Still using him on the front line for his melee skill. It's like really tempting to me to try to use his... Try to use Fearsome just to try to utilize his high melee attack with high resolve. But like, I think I would have needed to build him different from the start. But like something... This seems interesting. If, if he had... I think the big problem is... Is that he needs more fatigue. Because I was thinking like... Oh, I could like use him as a sword lance. Um... But... But it's just like... Doesn't have the fatigue for it. Are you fighting the new Origins? I feel like they're a bit slow. Well, I haven't played the Anatomists. I mean, it did take me a while to get a file going on Oath Takers. But I, I like the oaths. I think they're interesting. They, it's something that has me rethinking the way that I'm doing, doing fights and stuff like that. So I like it. I like the oath takers one so far. I've been enjoying myself. I'm building mine as a nimble banner whip. That's how I build all of my bannermen is a uh, banner whip so like that's what I'm doing but but I was just trying to think of a way to like not use him as the bannerman and like use him as like a sword lance fearsome guy or something fearsome is nice but it has to compete with a lot of other good stuff yeah really hope they're also working on bb2 not that other project they had going. I don't know what other project that is that you're talking about. Frontline banner's a thing, but a very demanding stat-wise. I mean, I, I don't really need him to not be on the front line. It seems fine for me to have him there. Um, For now, I mean, he's got pretty good melee defense. If, if I were to somehow figure out a way to fit a sword lance on him... Like he's he's nimble. What's his what's his uh, fatigue right now? I mean, it's seventy five. It's not terrible. I think the big problem is is that I took quick hands on him, and like, I think that is like a bit of an issue. I, I'm also okay with having rally the troops. I mean, that way we could utilize his resolve and fights that we need it. But like, if I didn't take quick hands, then I feel like it would be a little bit easier because it's like, so like we would have we have four perks remaining. So, like, if I want to have Fearsome and I want to use the Sword Lance, that means that I, I really should have Berserk. Fearsome Berserk. Um, so that's two. And he probably wants Underdog as well. Um, so we so that's... that's uh, Fearsome, Berserk, Underdog. Uh, so that's three. And then, like, he's going to be out of fatigue. He's going to be out of fat all the time. It's so like Recover. Um, so that's four, but then, like, I don't get reach advantage. I don't get killing frenzy. Uh, underdog. Yeah, underdog is really great. One of the, one of the best perks, I think. Um, just, like, free melee defense when you would otherwise be getting screwed by enemies, basically. Uh, so like quick hands and gifted could maybe be dropped here and be able to some then, then fit reach advantage, killing frenzy, uh, fearsome. I, I don't know. It's the second best right after updog. Blah. Not much. What about you, chat? <laughs> <laughs> is this a random seed? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is the second seed in the spreadsheet. Uh, the NKVYURFGU one. That starting bro is awesome. Yeah, it's aw it is really good. Dexterous and brute. Yep. Very, very good. I, I did re I've replayed this seed a couple of times, but it's a seed that I found. You know, I didn't I didn't like use some one that somebody posted in chat.
Exclamation point, BB builds is the spreadsheet. The one that LeChef just did. <laughs> What's going on, LeChef? How you doing today? Get those nacho braids out of here. We don't need those. About to start dinner service in 30 minutes. Good luck, have fun, do good or die, kill all allied victory, no BS. Make him a flail or another weapon that gives head head chance, maybe? Flail is like so um, uh, intensive on the fatigue, maybe, but uh, like I, I think with a, with a bill hook, that's plus 5% chance to hit head, right? I think, um, if I'm thinking of the right one, this one's, or maybe, maybe it's just plus 5% chance to hit on the, on the, on the bill hook, but, uh, I don't know. It, it is, it is cool to get the additional damage on hit to the head. I suppose in theory I could, like, take Headhunter. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that like uh, Polar Mastery would be something that we would need to, which is something that I'm gonna be putting on him anyway. I don't know. Maybe it would just be fine to give him. Uh. Polar Mastery, uh, Berserk. Reach advantage, recover. But then, like, it's it would have been a, still a waste to give him quick hands. I don't think I'm going to be making that potion that lets me reset perks either or anything. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, just regretting all of my decisions, you know. And no melee defense, stars. Feel spade. Wow. Look at this guy over here. Three stars ranged attack. Lotty friggin' da. Just kill the library, dude, and you get more perks, yeah. Bring money with you, we're not cheap. I was just gonna show up and you know, I was just gonna I just figured you guys gave away free food. I don't know. You know, just fucking show up, you know, get some food, leave, don't pay for it. That's what I thought happened here. But yeah, I think Brute is just going to be like an incidental, like really high damage kind of a thing. I don't think that I'm going to try to get him to hit the head more. Maybe I could just put Headhunter on him or something. But I feel like it it might be good to maybe to try to give him Berserk too or something. But Do all those mods work with the add-on? Yeah, I haven't had any problem. The game crashed one time. I think, um, well, I get the end of a fight. Okay, I need a taxidermist. And let's, uh, let's leave, I guess. I could wait until, oh wait, or, yeah, we're at midday, so I'd have to wait until the following day. And there's no other quests. I could go into the desert to try and find hyenas, maybe. A little bit. That sounds fine to me. Let's do that.
throws a hammer is perhaps one of the dumbest individuals you've ever met. But, for a brief moment, it does appear that Templar gets through and teaches him a thing or two about critical thinking and memorization. You watch as the two sit together and look over some scrolls. You're not sure where the smart man got such papers, but the unlearning oaf is certainly paying a lot of attention to them. As you watch, Thro is asking rather deep, profound questions. Questions about the land and its relationship to people, and the sky and its relationship to the birds. You slowly realize the idiot is merely glancing around and describing what he's seeing in the sort of inquisitive language Templar has taught him, namely by attaching a smarmily in tone question to the end of every sentence. When the two finish up, Templar comes to you with a grin. Well, I think we're getting somewhere with him. He's learning, you know. With students like that, all you gotta do is be patient and take your time. A little ways away, throws a hammer, is pounding ants with a rock. You simply nod and let Templar live out every teacher's biggest fantasy. <laughs> yeah, what a jaded event, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll fight this, I just, I'm just waiting for night time. Oh, there's a green skins thing. Your men have extra resolve, melee range skill, melee range defense. When fighting orcs or goblins, your renown will increase, which means higher pay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, extra renown for slaying green skins. Your men have reduced resolve, melee ranged, melee, melee and range skill, melee range defense while fighting any other foe. Cool. Uh, few aberrations are as repugnant as the undead. Let us take an oath of righteousness and strike down these mockeries of life. Extra resolve, extra melee range skill, extra melee range defense. Wow. Also seems really good. Uphold young Anselm's oath is to take a duty without end. Let us take an oath of endurance to prepare ourselves for the tasks, tasks to come. Your men recover extra fatigue per turn. Your renown will increase. Extra renown for winning many battles. You can only take up to 10 men into battle. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Uh, fighting undead seems like it might be something I'm interested in doing right now. I think your old banner boy would be fine just grabbing polearm mastery and fearsome. And perhaps also cleaver mastery for disarming since you already have quick hands on him. Perhaps you don't need either berserk or killing frenzy. Yeah, you're probably right. It's just that, like, it seems... Fearsome doesn't... Seem like it's that... Great, unless I'm hitting multiple enemies at once, is how it feels to me. Um, we have some ancient undead locations that I think, um, I don't know that I have other ones. Um... I think we'll take this and we'll head immediately north and up to uh, find some of these ancient undead. So we have an ancient undead boom right there and uh, there's another one around here somewhere. Pretty sure. It's a little ways away from where I'm at, but... I thought there was one, like, around. Uh, maybe not. This one close to you can be undead. Yeah. I can do... Yeah, let's do this one, too. 
Even if it's not, it's at nighttime, so it shouldn't be too bad for us. Yeah. Ooh, we got a nomad leader, too. Zuri, the silver mace. Fearsome is very strong in three late game fights and does nothing anywhere else. The issue is none of those are legendary, legendary locations, so they're arguably skippable. Gotcha. Wow, good hits. 31%. No problem. Clarkus is a fucking monster as always. As always. some I you only used for gunners with overwhelm mm. yeah I've heard of that build before I do intend to dagger this guy well daggering he doesn't have any unique gear yeah he's just a leader I'll probably just attack him down normally Calm down, dude. It's fine. Good shit, Clarkus. get two resolve checks on great axes because they hit the body and the head. Is that is that what you mean? With the split man? Interesting. You only get two resolve checks with great axes if the second portion of split man hits over 15 damage. It can happen, and it's more likely to happen with the barbarian axe, but it's not a guarantee against high armor targets. Gotcha. Sir, you appear to be having a bad day. Please, let me help. Uh, 
I've never built a fencer, bro. Could have been nice. is actually impossible to hit. Can't fucking do it. It's literally unkillable, that guy. It's a really cool duelist one. You can hit enemies based on your initiative and ignore zone of control. Oh yeah, yeah I know what it does and what it is. I just have never done it before. Every time I like go to do it, it's just like... It seems like impossible, basically because they just require so many stats and so many perks. Like, it's just not something that I'm ever interested in doing. It's like I'm, so I'm always, like, really heavily demotivated to any time I, like, talk about doing it or, like, consider it. Because it's just like, well, well, sure, you could do it, but the one that you make is going to be a complete pile of shit. So it's just like, all right, well, fuck it. I guess I won't do that then. <laughs> Built one with a starter Oath Taker, not the old one, and working really cool because it's got Dexterous and Quick. Oh, nice. Very good. That's basically the generally agreed upon opinion about the build. Is that like, yeah, you could do it, but it's just gonna be shitty. It's like it's like this 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 it's like this concept of something that's going to be really powerful, but then, like, when you actually actively go to do it, it's like, well, yeah, but it's, like, kind of shitty anyway. Fencer is a good way to make a good bro into a meme build. Mmm, okay. I guess that's a good way to describe it. Oh, this guy's fodder. Well, he is still fodder, but... Uh, uh, you're level 2, so you get a name. To be fair, it can, be ab it can absolutely slap against goblins. I gotta, I gotta say, my favorite thing against goblins is uh, that I've used has got to be the sword lance on the viper. That like, it just completely shits all over him. <laughs> it's so stupid. My favorite thing against goblins is not fighting goblins. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I really... That's definitely a very good plan. That's like my plan against a lot of stuff. Is to just not fight them. Also, also it's like the same thing with like shrats. My plan against shrats is to not fight them. Because fuck that. And then my, my plan against uh, linworms is to also not fight them. That's It's just a good... It's just a good plan, I think. Yeah, how about no? Yeah, how about fucking? Hell no, to the no, 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 yeah, to the no. What's my plan for hexes? Oh, I have a really good plan against hexes. It's to not fight them. <laughs> Shrats aren't even that bad. 
You can fight three and have no fa fatalities. <laughs> that's like such a, yeah, that's like a, that's, that's accurate. You're like, yeah, I mean, like you could fight them. Sometimes you could even fight three and not have somebody die. Sometimes. That's great. All right. All right. No, it's fine. It's just funny because, like, they're just a huge pain in the ass. It's like, there's a lot of things that are just, like, more risky than others. And, it's, and like, especially now when I'm playing on Iron Man, normally I don't even play on Iron Man, and I still don't even fight them because I don't like reloading. Like, I, even though I don't typically play on Iron Man, I play it like Iron Man for the most part. But like I so I still don't even take like Shrat fights and hexes because I just or or, or like Linworms because I just know that like shit can just like completely fall apart. I mean, yeah, I can fight against hexes and we can have good resolve. We can still fail, but we we can have good resolve against them, and then we we can have tanks with like taunt, which can be useful, and we can disarm them as well. Like there's all kinds of really useful things that you can do, and then like you just then you just fuck up and you just like fail three coin flips in a row and then like two brothers are dead and it's just like all right well fuck i guess we're <laughs> i guess we're fucked and like what what do you gain from fighting the hex like you get the poisoned apple like great okay fucking fantastic like it's just not worth it i don't think Oh, you get her hair. Oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. Hexen can give you a poison apple, which your gluttonous brothers can eat. Yeah, great. <laughs> I'd much rather fight Shrats than a fucking barbarian horde. 17 Chosens are just ridiculous. See, I'd rather fight uh, uh, barbarian hordes. I mean, sometimes, like, a lot of times when you fight Shrats, there's fucking Hexen with them. It's a goddamn nightmare. Hexen, Shrats, Linworms are all basically taxes on inventory. If you carry around the right tools and re-equip all your bros specifically for the fights, they're pretty consistent. All right, fair enough. Like, I don't I don't have, like, a whole lot of experience for the, with them, if I'm honest, because I don't typically... Uh, because in, in the experience that I've had with them, it's been, like, really fucking rough. So it's just like, well, I don't know. I just don't really see the benefit, so I'll just not fight them. Oh, that's true. You can get some good stuff off of Shrats, you know, for, for attachments and whatnot. He's huge. He's huge, that one. Can you imagine all the mojo oozing out of your stream? Billy stating, I downed five lindworms last night. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's just much more likely, I feel like, that it's going to be like, well, I tried to fight a Linworm. So, so now we're starting a new file today. This guy might be worth uh, checking out. I don't like Hexen. Everything else is manageable. Sure.
Holy shit, I didn't even realize. Look at this fucking guy. Is that a tier three hammer? Yeah. Looked, it looked weird for a second. I thought that it was like maybe somehow he came with a famed hammer. That guy is really fucking expensive. Good old Gizbert. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Talent mod name, anyone please? It's in the spreadsheet. Battles. It's on the mods tab of the spreadsheet. My last playthrough, I think I got the Lindworms attacking a caravan event from a contract. Oh boy, that was fun. Sure. Yeah, he's got he's got the uh, high tier armor on too. Welcome to B1K Live. Yo, Cannon with the 27 months. I got myself some free Corona. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sick and almost done with the Elden Ring. Sorry about the being sick. Hooray for getting to play a whole bunch of Elden Ring. Hell yeah. Very nice. Thank you so very much for this continued support, Cannon. Don't leave any of the love lying around, all right? Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. Pretty please. Yeah, like, I don't know, this guy could be okay if he, if he rolls good on melee defense uh, with, with huge. Like, he can actually still have positive melee defense since he's just so noble. Resolve, uh, he's probably gonna need work. HP is meh, fatigue is meh, but he could be fat neutral. Um, if he rolls 65 melee attack, you know? He, he won't need stars. I don't know. I'm not going to spend two grand on trying to find out. All right. <clears throat> I could check for quests here, but I think what I'm more interested in is uh, just going up and doing undead fights because, like, that's what our oath is. Finding no good brothers to level. I'm sorry, Brent. That sucks. It always feels real bad. I'm gonna like try to clear this out. Maybe look for some undead here too. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. This is a little beat up, but I, I think it should be fine for the fight. I need some throwing axes for these guys. Pretty bad. What's up, Kuno? How you doing today? Yeah, we have two really good hunters. Yep. I, where, where the fuck were these guys? 
in our uh, in our gladiator run. I tried out like 30 hunters. Oh, this is just normal undead. Oh, I thought this was gonna be ancient undead. Oh, okay. That's fine. Could be worse, could be evil dead. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, we have a fallen hero too. Well. Cool. Couple of geists as well. Enjoy your 5% chance, dumb face. Something, something over clownfidence. Look, it's fine. His armor is already fucked. I don't think I'm gonna try to like farm him out or anything. Nice fucking kill, fire. Easy peasy. Very nice. Starting a GoFundMe to get Billy's arm hacked off and replaced with a shotgun? Oh god. Please no. Your lawyers have already cleared it? Oh, okay, great.
Wow, look at him go from confident to wavering. Just like that. It's just that easy. try to dagger this guy. Rocky. Xander, how you doing today? What's up, Necromancer? How you doing? Daggers do not normally bypass armor, but they have a secondary ability called Puncture, which specifically says completely ignores armor on the bottom. Minus 15% chance to hit, causes four, costs 4 AP, 20 fatigue, completely ignores armor. You have a fucking dagger, Einstein. I am. Fuck. this guy's armor.
we could end up using it for nimble. Like he's got a helmet. Uh, the, his hat is like this one is a, I think forty for no fatigue. And could be something that I want to use in theory. This guy is armor too that I might want. I, I didn't. His helmet is, I think, uh, like a slightly higher quality, like Koif. And I think, is, is it 110 armor, or is it something else? Forty for no fatigue, and his armor is thirty-five for two. Uh, we got his armor and his helmet, though. Two sixty armor. Oh shit, we got a fucking fame piece of gear. I didn't even see it. Holy shit, three sixty-four for thirty-nine. Yo, let's fucking go. That's some juicy fucking armor right there. That's some ham level armor indeed. Wow. Air horn. Are you so happy about the rotten undead Gary misses the shiny? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Bum 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 bum. All right. Well, this is our uh, duelist battle forged. Xander, I think we know what armor you're getting. Uh, we need this, uh, helmet on you. I'm just gonna give you a sword for right now. Got a three-star melee, uh, fat two-star resolve oath taker. Nice. 66, 67 attack roll. 96, 96 fat. 55, 56 uh, resolve. And 6 out of 8 melee defense. 63 out of 66 HP and Spartan. Nice. That's really good, Mackin. All right, so we got to figure out what kind of a duelist he's going to be. Hey, maybe we'll get a... Uh, We got a famed weapon from the next one, yeah? Maybe.
Uh, you really don't have the fatigue to be wearing this shit. Right now, Einsteinium. Seven initiative. Well, he's paranoid, so... His HP is pretty okay, so we'll give him this. Yeah, 29 is just not enough to, like, fucking swing a weapon. Really. So I should give you a different... There, 43 is, like, a little bit more reasonable, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna give you the battle stand. I could, I could put that ugly guy back uh, with the... Uh, Battle standard. I mean, he is our going to be our bannerman, probably. That fodder tank is slowly creeping up to the point where he might lose the fodder tag. Yes. Yep. It's getting there. I still, I still kind of want to just use his good melee attack and and whatnot. I don't know, it doesn't seem terrible. But then I don't have the battle standard on anybody. I could just give it to one of these guys. Uh, you have 43, you have 38. Here, let's give it to you then, I guess. I'll repair these hand axes and stuff so I could sell them for a higher price. <clears throat> hey, it looks fine. What a great fucking undead fight to get. So lucky. All right, there's another one. How are we doing on health? Yeah, everything looks pretty good here. Ancient uh, uh, legionaries, is, like this, the stagger isn't any good. Um, I'm not really sure what else to equip, though. Day 39, nomads got the dodge perk. Time to leave the south. Yeah. I guess I could just give you a mace. So you're doing uh, more to Ancient Undead. It's like the Katal is not going to do shit. They have resistance to piercing. Like I, don't, I don't think I need the battle standard here, so we'll do this. So we have weapons that are more effective.
Like, our bows are no good. <clears throat> like I said before, I really gotta get some throwing axes. They would be much, much nicer here. God damn it. That was a mistake. <laughs> I thought I thought he was going first. Oh well. Oh, I thought that guy would go in front for sure. down have him work on this guy have him kill this guy these these two kill this guy then you come down finish off this guy then start coming up or do we go up 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 uh, have them kill these and then get into back line and do this and then he just gets smashed by this guy for a while up here. Like, the, the ones without shields should be a little bit easier to deal with. Of picking up Battle Brothers DLC needed uh, or the base game good enough for starters. I think the base game is fine for for just starting off, but as long as you enjoy the game, it's definitely good to pick up the DLCs. There's a lot of really fantastic content there. But like at least like maybe like experience the game a little bit first, and then uh, see, see what uh, what you like or whether whether you uh, how much you enjoy it and whatnot. fucked up. I should have uh, been able to get an additional attack here on him and Einsteinium, but so it goes, I guess. Good job, Rocky. Have him shield wall and then attack this guy. Like, I'm, like his, he's just gonna get attacked by this dude. I don't want him getting stabbed by that spear. This is yesterday's file, yep. Unfortunate 18% roll. This oath that we have right now is pretty fucking awesome.
The Oath of the Bacon? I mean, I guess it could be called the Oath of the Bacon if you want it. Forgot he doesn't have quick hands. Shit. Nice job. Let's fucking go. Crushing it. 4567. Try and get this guy dead. stabbed once already. Damn. Their hit chance isn't that high, but I mean, still. Could have definitely just like gone around to attack this guy directly. Probably would have been better. back so that doesn't happen again. Just get a stun on that guy.
I'm not gonna bother putting fire next to those guys. Don't want them to get wrecked randomly. 68. Nice. Ow. Nice. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. We got a pierced cheek and a pierced leg muscle, so I'm going to try and find a temple. Got a lot of levels. Bum 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 Undead pikes for everyone. They're so good. Yeah, they're pretty good for where we're at. The uh, whole ones, anyway. They don't have a lot of... Uh, um, durability, but... Blah, 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 blah. Against non undead, they're almost like bill hooks. Just slightly worse, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no good versus ancient undead, but... So are gonna be some really strong ranged units. Very hyped. Okay, he might not get any more HP rolls. I don't know, we'll see how his rolls continue after that. Um, I could be, by the way, I could be getting the, uh, scavenger. Or the scout. Surgeon is good, for sure. Oh. Not only do I do have a not treated five people at the temple yet, but I also don't really have 3,500 to spend. I might not have 3,000 to spend either. No, the surgeon is definitely good. <laughs> Just don't get injured, forehead. It's so easy. Yeah, I like the cook too, especially if you have a lot of nimble dudes. The HP recovery is pretty juicy. I like the scout just in general because, like, I like tra I hate having to travel slowly, and this lets you travel faster. 
We're, we've almost got space for another retinue. I think I might get this out. For right now, and then pick up the scavenger after we get enough money to do that. Bunch of nachos. Okay, we're a little injured, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, Smith is awesome. I like the Smith a lot too. Oh my god, we don't have any more arrows. Oh, fuck. How many arrows do you have? Okay, you have all the arrows. <laughs> He's not- I'm not your friend, guy. I'm not your friend, buddy. Kind of feel like they're all gonna go down south. I'm gonna get big, big bad uh, to loop around here. Like, I mean, they're all they're they're all tending south. So, <clears throat> oh no! Now they're now they're scooping back around, scooping and a looping. Else in the party have a, a stack of arrows? It was crossbow. Yeah. Nope. Oh, you're supposed to have. Where's your katal? Oh, it's in your. Hmm. Indeed. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, I had it. I had it equipped for that ancient undead fight. I forgot about it. What happened to Dagger Bro? Nothing. He's he's there. He's just I'm just an idiot. That's all. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Approached by a guy with a Lindworm Slayer background who I hired for 5k and he had full Lindworm armor and fighting spear. Is this new? I've never seen that event before, but that doesn't mean that it's new necessarily. But uh, so maybe somebody else is, knows something about it.
9k worth of gear. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, do it. Very cool. Great job, everybody. Very nice. Give me them nacho bits. Fully loaded nachos. Cool. to work with. Man, we went through all of those tools quite rapidly. We had like 130 when we left. I'd like to be ranged, sir. Okay. <laughs> get get in line. Oh, there's 66 names in the list, Rhinox, right now, and I reset the list on uh, uh, Thursday. Uh, we're using like four mods. They're in the BB Builds spreadsheet on the mods page. Yeah, I know I'm out of ammo, um, but it's nighttime, so I can't buy anything here. So I want to see what this contract is. A week ago, we sent the famed Sir Magnus out there to go hunt surrounding farmsteads for weeks. You know why the satchels remain in my possession? Because he hasn't returned. Okay. Okay, uh, do I have any, do I have, happen to have a thing of arrows? Okay, I've got three arrows here. Boom, look at that. Three arrows, nice. <laughs> okay, now, now I can fire three times in this next fight. Four nachos. Three arrows, three kills. Yeah, maybe. Only got one arrow, but I've got four javelins. Damn it, I keep forgetting on Rocky. He's not supposed to have that.
I'm just gonna hold here. So it seems like he needs like a little bit more initiative. I mean, if he wants to go before nachos at least. Oh, there is a big chungus. It's the first we've seen it, I think. A chungus. Out of arrows. No, I think that there's another one of these nachos, like up here. No! Fodder! Oh no! Not fodder! Are you in your Berlin somewhere? Yep. Oh yeah, you're the fodder tank. You're actually like... look. It looks like you're gonna be a, a solid tank. I just need to... You just need to be alive a little bit longer. You'll be good to go. pass i'm gonna plan on after these guys run i'm gonna move and then uh attack uh stun the not the big nacho plan right now eat somebody here, but... The fuck did we just get downed? We got killed? Big bad cater. You're dead. Sorry.
How you doing, Rocky? You doing good after? He look. He looks fine, right? How you doing, Rocky? All right, great. See, so he's fine. As fresh as the day he was born. He's been he's been reborn in a way. Back to Newdorf. How's you guys doing? Oh, wrong thing. Uh, got arrows? Yeah, you do. I need some of those. What's your buy price here? Not great. Anybody interesting to hire here? We're missing somebody because of reasons. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good farm hand right there. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna tell you. Just roll 57 melee attack, no problem. Just fucking go. Come on, how is he? Oh, 55. That's pretty good. All right. 85 melee attack. Uh, 37 melee defense. What's your fatigue? 101. Min rolled fatigue, unfortunately. So he's probably going to be two handed melee. Got 35 resolve, so we won't have to put too many points into that. The one handed sword guy have a famed armor? It does, yeah. Yeah, we, ju we just got that famed armor. I forgot to equip this earlier. Mineral, sack him. Yep. It's garbage. Uh, oh, big bad. Cater just died, right? Yep. So, rectify. Do you have a name on the list right now? Am I still on that list? Yes. I've only I only reset it on the beginning of the, the us playing the DLC for the first time. Yeah. the eel is that a particular trait no i don't know 
just curious. Okay, um, let's go down to here. Maybe Seedstot has some better prices. Um, and then after we do that, then we're going to go do this one. We've killed 34 of 75 undead things so far for our oath. That's good. We still have, we're still on it for another eight days, so we're crushing it. We're going to look for as many undead locations as possible, not only to, like, to benefit our oath, but to be able to get some good gear. We got this, uh, oh, well, that's a tunic, just whatever, but... We got this, like, 260 gear and stuff. What's up, Quasi? How you doing today? How does one end up in the list? Um, you, you spend your points. Like, you got your little points thing at the bottom of this chat here. As you can see, I have an infinite amount of butts. But uh, you will, you won't have as many options here, probably. Uh, I don't know. You might or might not. But regardless, uh, reserve a Battle Brothers name. That's how you get on the list. Did a lot of prep for tomorrow's dinner. Awesome. I bet it's gonna go great. Rebuilding efforts. Okay, what's your buy price? 17. Nice. Um, I've got like three of these blades equipped right now. I don't know if I need any more. I think I'm going to sell this sword too. Infinite bots has science gone too far? Maybe, but I'm not going to question it. Is there a taxidermist here? No. I need to craft some nacho necklaces. It's it's three and three, right? Da, 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 da. Pro streamer can actually drag a window into the stream window. Yeah. You could probably buy some nets. See if uh, where the nearest um, taxidermist is. I'm gonna go hit that up. Tomorrow, uh, all that's left are the buns, the aioli, sweet tater fries, and gyoza dipping sauce. Awesome. Thank you. 
get some bonus XP on these guys. Not everybody, but whatever. Ba -ba -ba -ba. A cheap cell sword. I mean, they're still 42 a day, but. <clears throat> Batman's got some melee defense. That could be a mega tank right there. That could be a, a juicer. Let's see what he rolled. Max rolled melee defense. Nice. Dude's, this dude's gonna have fucking a lot of melee defense. <laughs> Fear of green skins isn't great, but whatever. He, he max rolled resolve too. Wow. Wow, what a great tank. He's dead for sure. Alright, Tippy. Don't die, okay? Dead for sure. Probably. Just don't dive. Yeah, I mean, like, that's what I need. That's what I need to have happen. Well, I'm sorry, you rolled you rolled too many twos. We're gonna have to fire you, actually. You're fine until you said something. <laughs> I could maybe take melee attack over fatigue, but he's gonna need a lot of fatigue too. So I'm just gonna level HP fat. We can take better resolve like rolls. The only way I'm getting off this roster is in a buddy bag. Yeah, that's, that's, yes. Yep. Accurate. Okay, let me remember this time to actually give him the correct weapon. Um, I don't know that I have anybody else that I could really move into the front line quite yet. I don't know, I could maybe move Templar up. Try for Nimble Forge tank on Tippy. I don't know, we'll see. I think Tippy's probably gonna be our uh, line holder on, uh, I don't know, maybe Brillin would be superior to that. Like I, I really have like three tanks right now, but I don't have any problem with having three tanks. Not with them when you have extra roster slots. 
I'm nervous because I entered the home brew competition and they're doing final judging right now. And then an award ceremony in a couple of hours and I'm brewing a cream ale for the next competition in a couple of months. Oh, snap. Yep, the mods that we're using, we're using like four mods. They're in the BB Builds spreadsheet in the mods tab. Probably a good idea to be on the lookout for cultists and historians just so you can do the library. That, that That's like an event that happens. I don't really know how that event works. Because like we've completed the library before but and we've gotten that item, but I've never had a historian in the party to like be able to get whatever unique thing happens. Is this game worth getting into? I think so. I played the demo, but was overwhelmed about all the placement and scenarios I suck at XCOM 2. I've never, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not really sure about its comparison to XCOM, but, um, like, I, I really love the game, and I think that it is definitely very challenging, but it's really worth, uh, like, it's, it's worth taking the time to learn because it's very satisfying. It's a very, very satisfying game. It's because you're on the Peasant Militia, they are the only exception. Right, I know that, but I mean, I've, I've completed the Sunken Library before, but so I was just asking, like, how the event works. Like, so I... You're talking about hiring a historian... Um, or a cultist because of an event that happens once you have the book that you get from the sunken library, right? I've been loving homebrewing. It seems like something you might like too. Um, well, I don't like beer. So like if I were to be homebrewing, I would brew cider and like, I don't know. It just, it's, it's never really appealed to me. I've got a couple of friends that do homebrewing kind of stuff but it's never really seemed like like if I was gonna do something um, something I've seen done is like making liqueurs with like you know you, you take like a booze and then you like infuse it with something else Kuro's done that before uh, with different stuff uh, like he has like this uh, like walnut walnut infused vodka that he made uh, that was pretty great That's how it works, Rabbit. All right. It's so, like that's like a little bit more interesting to me, but I don't know. Yeah, let's find a taxidermist. Uh, I might. I'll probably take some quests from here. There's no tax service here. I've never been there. Okay. No. 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 Nope. Nope. There we go. There's one in Tob and Moose. Okay, there's an Ancient Undead thing there. There's also this Ancient Undead location here. So we're going to go to this one that's closer to us first. And then we're going to head up north. Remember one of my runs, I completed the library and had the black book in my inventory, and I just couldn't ever find a cultist or historian after that point, so I just couldn't get the reward despite completing the fight. Gotcha. Okay. Now, yeah, now I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, get it, get it now, so that way I don't have to worry about trying to find it later. 
Got a hold of a jar of cinnamon apple pie moonshine. God, it was good. Nice. I saw this video that was uh, talking about making this uh, this Putski flavored vodka, and um, I'm I'm sure that it's different with every different kind of like infusion of a of a type of thing, like whatever whatever you're trying to do, whether it's like an alcoholic thing or, or whatever. But um, for this particular one. It's like they literally like make vodka and then they just throw a shitload of puts puchkis in it. The puchkis are like a are like a kind of dessert type thing that's that are like a um like a fat tuesday uh or or no. Yeah, yeah. Like a fat tuesday kind of uh Catholic church food item thing, I I think. And, um, I don't know, it was just, I just didn't, like, I just didn't expect to see, like, they have this, like, big, you know, like, one of the gigantic vats where, like, they're, like, distilling alcohol, and then they just, like, throw hundreds of, like, sweet bakery goods into the <laughs> fucking thing. Wow, many ancient honor guards. Boy, that could be difficult. That sounds disgusting. It looked really fucking weird. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm like... Uh, but that's just how they made it. I, I don't... Call it Palenka in uh, Transylvania? That that dessert item? Oh, you're, oh, you mean the plum brandy. Oh. I don't know. I've never actually had moonshine before. Many ancient honor guards. Many. So it's probably going to be like 10 at least. I don't know. This might be uh, too difficult for us. I definitely feel like I could pull a ranged unit. Get an, addi an additional fodder unit. Take a flail. We don't want spears because there's just no good here. Many is seven to ten. Okay. I'm gonna move Clarkus out of the way because I just don't think he's going to be able to be super helpful in this fight. No offense, Clarkus. We'll see where they want to move. Like they've got these fucking swiping pole arm, the swiping pole arm shit. It's like very fucking scary, honestly. Yeah, this is pretty terrifying.
Okay, I need Einsteinium to shield wall here, and I need Einsteinium to hold. If he doesn't, then we're going to have a fiercely fucking bad time. Yeah, there are throwing axes, yes. And they're actually really important for this fight. For, for like, against Ancient Undead, for your range to be relevant. I just don't have any right now. Okay. Um... Great. Good start. Okay, now where do, who do I want to focus on now? Um, I'll probably have you move up, attack this guy. You move up, attack this guy. Everybody piles on that guy. So that way they don't have any shield guys left. Let's move you down. Yeah, the Reavers are the ones with the good throwers, yep. Yeah. I want to get rid of this guy and this this guy. This this guy first, preferably, because he has an AOE attack. So let's see, we have all three of these guys are each getting two attacks. They might kill this guy, so maybe I don't need to have Tippy attack this guy. So I could, in that case, I could move Tippy forward, get an attack here to get this guy lower. Or even maybe try to stun this guy. I don't know. Yeah, that might, that might be what I want to try to do. Nice, good stun. Wow, fucking great job. I didn't think you were going to fucking kill that guy. Holy shit. Just one shot him. Okay, so I don't really have room for all of these units to try to take part in this area. So I could either move Xander forward. And then not get an attack against this guy. Or I could wait for Temp I mean, if Templar move forward, get an attack on this guy. I could if you move this way and try to get around this way. I don't know. It's kind of it's gonna it's gonna be difficult to fit everybody in, I think in general. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, I just can't, I just can't fit. We can't fit our fat asses in there. Nice. Okay, um, what's shield wall? We're kind of trying to target this guy. So we'll take a swing here. And what did you, uh... 33, he rolled a 1. Okay. Okay, the other guy I want to try to kill is this guy. This guy that... This is the guy that we want.
pass. It's done. I'm just gonna move him back. I don't want him to get doinked in the head again because he's already kind of damaged, yeah. Good. Oh, fucking brutal. Oh, fucking brutal, dude. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That ugly guy is in a very bad shape. To try and rotate him out, but it's questionable. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like, I think I have to stun this guy. So I don't get an attack quite yet, but I'm gonna have that ugly guy run away, and then I can get I can move him in an attack afterwards. Nice, good shit. Get in there. Oh fuck! I didn't know he had a line attack. Wow. That's very lucky. Well, I would rather be lucky than good, and uh, you need to get the fuck out of here. I forgot about a line attack on that. Jesus. That was super, super monka. Beautiful. Now you move away. I don't think I want to move within range of this guy. It's too likely the tippy dies. Yeah, these uh, these weapons are pretty nasty. Or, or, or are you talking about the thing that this guy had? The the foul certs. I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm gonna pass on you.
It's all right. It's all right. Very nice. Well, we have the undead oath rapid. So we have extra melee attack, melee defense versus undead. And resolve. So like I would never take this fight normally. That was a spicy one. If we're really lucky, we get a famed item out of this. But at the very least, we get some good weapons, hopefully. Yeah, it was tense. That was very tense. That ugly guy almost died. Almost. Uh, okay. Well, we did get a War Scythe and a Crypt Cleaver. So these are pretty good. The, oh, and the Romp... Uh, the, the Romp Fire. No. So, some famed spoons, yeah. These are the best spoons you'll ever eat from. Definitely took a lot of damage. Yeah, those spoons rolled pretty bad, I agree. What's that armor like? It's like 210 for, for a lot of fatigue, but... Comparable to the decayed stuff, I guess. All right. Uh, the helms are are 180 for minus three vision and 13 fatigue. So not, not terrible for where we're at. Wow, just max roll on everything, why don't you? Is there a temple down here? Yes, I need a temple. Ma Vision does not affect your melee hit chance, no. Um, but it does, if you're using like a polearm weapon, if the, if it's if your vision is minus enough and then it's nighttime, then you can, uh, you, you can't see far enough to actually hit with a polearm. Obviously it's also not great on, um, on um, uh, archers and stuff. It's also like, if you have a tank that can't see far enough to taunt, it can also be a pretty big fucking issue there too, in my experience. So what are, what are they, what's the attack that this...
45 to 65. So it's just like it's like a two-handed, yeah, just like a two-handed sword. But it gets um, hmm. interesting. Yeah, I can't see you, but oh, hey, over here, you attack me! Oh my God, you're so ugly, you made me blind, Jesus. Yeah, the 4 AP attack is kind of interesting. That thing is like massive to uh I guess these are all minus this one's only minus ten fatigue. That is like a very difficult uh attack to use though. I mean we're we're gonna we we're gonna have pull our mastery on him anyway, but Oh yeah, and you're minus twenty percent max fatigue. Gonna have to start playing this game one day. I love it, but I never got around to playing it because I'm too busy uh, driving tractors and farming simulator. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think I'm going to use this two-handed cleaver. I should probably repair it to sell it at a higher price, though. At the very least. I don't have a whole ton of tools to do that, though. Finally getting into the 250, 300 armor range. You are? I'm not. I'm not there yet. I have one piece of armor that's within that range. Uh, may maybe two. Yeah, no, that's not. Or that that, that is two, rather. How bad negative range defense? Uh, I got an awesome bro, but he has negative nine range defense. Should I put some rolls in there? No, I wouldn't bother. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, uh, either of these things. Definitely don't think I'm gonna use that. some extra bandages and uh, let's get that stuff healed up 
Uh, I guess I could look at their quests. What are we looking at now on recovery time? One to two, one to two. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look at uh, if they have like a transportation quest. Okay. Let's take this. Put a Chanel mark. Uh, Tob and Moose is the place that has a taxidermist. We're at 42 of 75, undead, murdered. Uh, do you guys have any tools here by chance? No, I bought you out. Unfortunate. put this armor on you. <laughs> I'm give you this, just so that way you're not wearing something that makes it impossible for you to use more than a couple of attacks. Stein ambushed trade routes. Okay. Your tool prices, even with ambush trade routes, are uh, not so bad. footprints there, but <clears throat> I don't know that I care about them. Alright, we did it. We did the thing. There you go. We're probably pretty good on our injuries. These are both healing by tomorrow. Cool. They have a good buy price. I'm just gonna buy these tools. Uh, let's see what their quest quest they have. Sorrel the Hound. Oh, they got a Swordmaster. Quite cheap. That guy's name is Strongface. He's cheap, but he's 54 a day. He must be greedy, right? Or no, not that guy. 42 a day? Or is 42 normal? That might be normal for a Swordmaster. That's... Hmm. God, their HP is so bad. But everything else is... Like they they could be super amazing uh, two-handed melee units. Forty-two a day. I could sell enough stuff to hire them. I'm pretty sure, especially after I do a quest. See what they got here.
damn it. Good to see what their other quest is, but it's probably not going to be very good. Like the this three skull one, like it's probably going to be like, well, we're fucking green skins everywhere. Help us! But like, we don't have we, we don't have the stuff to fight green skins. We actually have a reduction of melee attack and whatever. We our stats get reduced versus green skins. We want to fight undead. Yeah, I know. I want to hire that sword master. Um, I just don't have the money. So I, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this contract. I'm going to set all this stuff to repair and go and deliver this stuff and then see if I sell everything, if I can afford it. When I get back. I don't even think it's worth trying him out. I mean, it's only 93 to try him out, I guess. But blah blah blah. This, this Rompfaya thing seems kind of interesting to me. But is there a higher tier sword that's like comparable to this? Because this is kind of like that, that war blade thing. Like having a, having like a double attack. Well, I sold it now. I didn't mean to do that. What's up, Von Steinberg? How are you doing today? Almost got uh, three kilometers on my bicycle today. Nice. 3,000, rather. <laughs> Together with the Warbrand, they are uh, uh, the only one of their kind. The Romp is the better one with a higher armor effectiveness, unless you got a famed Warbrand. Okay, got it. Thank you. Still don't have enough money to hire this guy. I could maybe try and come back later, but he's probably going to be gone. Like, if I hire him, I, I could sell everything here and uh, hire him, but then I don't have any money to pay my units, which maybe doesn't seem super great.
Which is still less than the good two-handed cleavers, but 10% to hit. Sure. Like I said, I can afford him, but um, maybe I'll just try coming back. Let's let's go do this ancient undead one, and then I can come back and see if they're still here. Some auxiliaries and many legionaries. Okay. I guess I'm gonna do this. Good, good. Good shit, Zedius. Nice. Very good. Okay. Get the hell out of my way, ancient auxiliaries. These two can team up on that guy. Best they can, anyway. Oh, he came up around. All right, very nice. 
Should be pretty okay here, generally. It's fine. It's all good. down attack move you down so we can take part in attacking this guy do the undead ever route no they they don't ever like they have basically unlimited not like unlimited fatigue but like they have unlimited fatigue <laughs> and uh and they don't they don't have morale Take the 61 chance here. That seems pretty easy. Dudes, don't don't stab Einsteinium in the face. What the hell's wrong with you? Jeez. You're gonna be a jerk like that. here so you can just end your turn ah. all right easy peasy um I'm gonna, I'm gonna not move you here I'm gonna move you down to go attack this guy, because I can have you come up and like stun this guy just so he doesn't get an additional attack off, I guess. I get I might kill it with an attack, but I'll just go for a stun. Guys are looking pretty freaking screwed, man. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Get out of here, you freaking dingus. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Schnellmark in a second. I'm gonna go swing up to Tobin Moose and we'll head over there. Nice, easy roll, easy roll. I uh, could take throwing mastery here. Like I have bags and belts written down is what I have, but I'm okay with throwing mastery as well. I need to find some axes still, like I said before. After we're done with this undead oath, then we'll be uh, looking to find some barbarians, get some reavers. Uh, get some reavers murdered, I reckon. Right 
Nice rectified. I was gonna give since since you max rolled uh, resolve. I don't know. Max rolling HP is also great. I, I, I could take the HP as well. It's fine. Stadium, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stadium's a lot more survivable now. Screwed. Look at all these hunters. Oh my god. A lot of units that I'd love to try out, but there's that sword master back at the other town. I also want to make some nacho necklaces. Those are 250 apiece, though. Is it worth it to go and hope that the Swordmaster is still there. Hmm. Or. And then, because, like, the other town has a good buy price, too, so we could sell all of our shit there. Or is it better to buy or build some natural necklaces just to improve resolve? Tell you what, let's. It's, it's not that big of a. Lost. Let's just go over there. Let's also see what these quests are. Maybe somebody wants me to go over to Chanel Mark. Oh, hey, you need a caravan guarded to Chanel Mark. Hey, that's fucking great. You want to pay me a little bit more? Hey, look at that. A little bit extra money. I'm already going there. It's going to take slightly longer, but it's fine. All right. So we have additional revenue. Retinue, not revenue slots. We've got more room for revenue! Swordmasters have such crap HP, though. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna try him out and see if he has uh, stars in HP. But, like, they're so strong on the, sword, on the uh, melee attack that they don't even need stars in it. <sighs> I mean, he's pretty cheap. What's the mod that you use to see what talents they have? It's the talents mod. On the, on the spreadsheet. Yeah, they have max 46 HPs, right. So you take Colossus and you level up HP on every three and four, basically. But, like, you're still able to get the stats to a reasonable number because you, you, like, never have to level Resolve, basically. And then you need to... But you do need to uh, level up HP and fat. 
you have to. And then you like take gifted and you level up HP and fat. He doesn't have melee defense. That's the only problem. I, I love sword masters because I love two-handed melee builds. Twenty melee defense, even zero stars, is good enough. Right? Yes, it definitely is. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Chat? Should we should we hire this guy? I I'm kind of thinking, leaning towards no. It's not because I don't think that he could be good. I think that he could be good. Uh, but yeah, I'm leaning towards no. I, I know that I only have 3k, but uh, I, I'm going to sell stuff. The prices went down, the prices were better, but then they become well supplied. So I do, I do have a little bit more money than what it would seem, though. Not that much more, though. Too expensive for a lottery? Sure. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll pass on him. I, I'm like I said, I'm leaning towards pass as well. <clears throat> Some nimble, nimble armor there. He's very bad for Swordmaster. Well, you don't know that. We haven't hired him. <laughs> you don't know. He's the legend. It's literally in his name. Oh, is there a historian? I didn't even... Could save and see. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not gonna save and reload. Like, especially not when I'm using the tryout mod. I'm not even gonna look at the historian stats because I don't care. The legend is that he faked being a swordmaster and just got through on dumb luck. <laughs> I mean, all right, fair enough. Uh, what's the location? What's it called? Tomb of Lords. Okay. Sounds great. It sounds undead. That's what it sounds like. Listen here, Selsword. If you go out and find the Tomb of Lords, come to us first. The rulers of Schnellmark need not bring their greed and lust for power to that place. Leave it to us, all right. We'll pay you well. We'll pay you well. It says around the location of Marken, but I don't I don't see a place named that. Uh, I hired the historian for uh, for after we complete the library. There's an item that you get that requires you to have a historian or a cultist in order to get an event. In order to, like, use the item. Oh. 
Do we already have a grave robber too? Uh, yeah, I think we do have a grave robber actually. Now that you say that, what is that? What? What? Yeah, I do. Tomb of the Lords to the west. Is it? Is it like in this? It's probably in this. No. Yeah, where the fuck is it? Yeah, 30 crowns. Where is it? Some way to the southeast of here. Okay. God damn it. company has made camp next to an abandoned priory, and the men are sitting around the campfire casting shadow animals across one of its stone walls. First a rabbit, then a painting dog, of course the bird, and the head of a snake, and a little mouse for it to eat. One of the cell swords ponders what it is that these shadows get up to when they aren't looking. He holds his hands up, their shapes blackly set against the wall. I just mean we have these things following us everywhere we go. We toy with them, you know, and yet we don't really think much about it. I mean, look at this. What is this? He splays his hand wide, blobbing ten fat shadows against the wall. The men ponder. Ox Pancake with the two months. I don't get to catch you live that much, but I've been watching the VODs. Love the BB streams. I'm bad at the game, but it's fun to watch. Hey, I'm really glad that you enjoy it, Pancake. It's my pleasure as always. Don't leave any of the love lying around, all right? Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy. Why is everybody looking at the biggest cell sword? One of the mercenaries stands up and points across the campfire and announces that Tippy has the scariest shadow of them all. The large cell sword looks over as if he's annoyed that his name was spoken aloud. He grits his teeth and slowly raises his hands and the rest of the company fearfully rears back. Tippy laces his fingers and puts the thumb out. <laughs> this is a chicken, see? The men glance at the shadows on the wall. It looks absolutely nothing like a chicken, but nobody dares to say that. They all nod and agree. Frankly, uh, Tippy... That is the best cock I've ever seen. <laughs> the men roar with laughter, but Tippy gets to his feet and the laughter stops. Oh, I said it was a chicken, didn't I? The other men nod hurriedly and agree with it. Was uh, Agree it was indeed a chicken. Tension settles down, but the shadow games are effectively over. Oh my god. Sort of looked like a worm to me. God damn it. All right. All right. Yo, what's going on, Dolphin? There it is. I no wait no this isn't this isn't the location I'm looking for. It's of course in some way to the north of where we are now. Easy. What? So this isn't it. This is the Castle of the Ancient Dead. Oh god, Necro Savants, yo fuck that. Well, I'm wasting all of my time out here in the goddamn woods. Dude, where the fuck is this? I don't like he said to the north. This is terrible. When I was up here, he said southeast. Dude, I fucking hate this. This is why I don't normally take these quests. Great. The only reason I took it was because I needed, uh, I need to fight more undead. Now my guys are all pissed. They're all afraid of Tippy. God damn it, guys. Yeah, this guy's just fucking around. It's a lot of undead.
Yeah, they're just friendly vampires. Yeah, I'm fucking sure. Oh, I hate Necro Savant so much. If, if we have at least one Necromancer. Maybe two. Okay, Berlin, you're gonna get up here, you're gonna try and kill one of those geists. Just don't, just don't panic, you'll be fine. terrible. I hate you. Don't panic. Nice. I always feel like the incidental uh, shots hit more often. Instead of trying to target the five percent. Oh my god, Dolphin was a geist the entire time. No, Brillin, you fucking idiot. There you go. See, it's fine. Doot, doot. It's fine. The Geist of Mondays. Yeah. Good kill, Xander. Let's fucking go. God damn it, Berlin. Berlin! Nice. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. No, no, that, that doesn't count as an execution, even when he hit him in the head, so... Rocky's not even supposed to have this weapon. <laughs> not even supposed to be here today. 
of important behind the scenes clip. No more books. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Neil Breen. You're the greatest. <laughs> God damn it. It's okay, Tenchi. Those books were paid very well to act in that movie. for paid actors all along, yeah, definitely. Nice, Berlin, let's fucking go, good job. I don't know if there's a max level. Like, 11 is where you stop getting perks. Get this geist. We're getting exhausted. Fighting undeads exhausting work. Don't make me panic, geist. Good. Great. One of the best one-handed maces. There's just a, a there's a tier three mace. Um, that's like um, like this is the tier two point five mace. Is the one you get from the southern um, uh, units. And then and then there's a mace that's better. It's a flanged mace. I think is what it's called. That's the best one. Or winged, winged. Yeah, is that is that the word? I think that that sounds more accurate. Yeah.
Yeah, what's the southern one called? The heavy southern mace? Yeah. Fuck you, Necromancer! Get him! Nice. I don't think I can catch up with him, though. Yeah, we played Necrodancer, yep. I played it on stream, like... A couple of times, uh, but it's... You have to focus so much on the game that, like, I didn't really like streaming it because it just fucking would, like, literally not reach out the entire time that I'm playing. some extra quivers on these guys. Wow, he stopped panicking? I am fucking up. Maze. Very impressed. Normally, what I like to use against them, uh, Krom, is I like to have at least one, but a couple of people with scram saxes or some kind of a cleaver so that I can cleave their heads off. So that way we just, just get rid of the zombies. Cleavers, whips, bows, dogs, the whole shebang. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really use dogs much at all. Like I have my, some of my range units have them sometimes, but I don't typically use them at all. All right, let's go back to Schnellmark. Then we're gonna go back to Tobin Moose. No, we have our young Oath Taker. He's just wearing different clothes. He's because he has nimble now, and the, none of the gear that you start with is nimble. Only our employer will learn where it is. Only our employer. Here, <laughs> her. her. Yeah, scram saxes. These would be maybe useful. <laughs> Tried bringing butcher's knives, beheading a fallen knight, but that guy came back two times anyway. Yeah, but they're really, really inaccurate. So you can usually just kind of like not, not worry about them too much. When are you planning on switching him to dagger? He, he is a dagger. I just, um, he's carrying around a mace because we've been fighting ancient undead and the dagger is completely garbage against ancient undead, so. I'm gonna sell these hats, I'm not gonna use them. What the f 
fuck did I just sell? A tooth. Oops. Well, that sucks. I don't think I want to buy, bother buying it back. Dude, I'm so fucking bad at, like, accidentally clicking on things. Uh, it's, like, really, really fucking annoying. Yeah, like, oh well, whatever. Now, there's not really much point in me having this many. Six, two. Might as well sell that. All right. It's the booze, it will only get worse. Mm. Buttspot's not even trying anymore. Poor Buttspot. What you got here? Westerholtz? Or is this? Day to the southeast. I don't think I'm gonna actually do that. Let's go back to Tobin Moose and get some of these necklaces made. Wow, you rolled like shit. What was the name of that plus 15% accuracy oath? I don't know. I don't remember. Both of the wraths, yeah, that sounds about right. That was a very good one to get early. Very cool. Is it pole arm mastery time? He's still just kind of a temporary frontliner, but... Um, there's a lot of hunters here that I could try out. I don't... I don't need ranged units, though. I've got two really good archers. I think I'd be more interested in the wild man. Quick. Fat. Uh, quick with fatigue and melee defense stars. No melee attack stars, so I don't think it's anything that we want, unfortunately. Yeah, if he had melee attack stars, it'd be pretty great, as always. Melee attack, melee defense is what we want, pretty much.
<clears throat> okay, we just need to do some more quests, because... I don't have a whole ton of money. Do -do 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 -do. I'd love to continue smashing some more undead locations. There has been an audacious act of thievery. The despicable brigands stole my rare coin collection, which is immeasurable value to me. I implore you to hunt down those thieves and return that item to me. Okay. All right. Follow the tracks. Hey, oh shit. Oh, cool. Very nice. All done with that oath. It's perfect timing because now I'm not fighting undead. I thought that the, we still had more time left. Good. Good. Uh, all right. Whoa, hello there. They're just, just getting right up in our shit. That uses so much wear. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> Doink. pair that scythe with the long axe for the quick slot. Sidesteps the durability issue. Yeah, sure, like any other pole arm would probably be pretty decent to swap in. I didn't want to move here because then I got 2v1. I don't want that. Don't need to give him any additional bonus. Done this guy. Get that guy out of here. Tiny him in here. Don't let him flee. Oh, got a fancy dagger. Look at this guy over here. Yeah. 
I got a fancy dagger too. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I tried. These dudes. Oh, what a lame rule for the Fancy Daggers Club. That's like the th all. That's the thing that we want to do all the time is stab. See, look at how great stabbing is. Daggers. I got the thing that you wanted. All right, Mr. Duelist. more resolve I think <laughs> yeah I don't think I'm really ready for weapon mastery quite yet so we could take berserk here Um, so I haven't got a weapon. It'd be nice to find a famed weapon first. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Mace Duelists work really great versus Ancient... Un I mean, they just work really good versus almost everything. Like, I, I would love to get a... Get a good mace. If I, if I can't find... If I don't find anything at all, I will definitely mace. Your favorite type of duel is two in general, especially with a named one with bonus penetration. Yeah. Pretty ridiculous. The mace is the place. Flails have less consistent damage than maces do. So, like, if we compare the same tier mace to the same tier... So, this is doing 30 to 45. This is doing 25 to 55. And this is doing 30 ignore, 100% effective. And this is 40 ignore, 100 effective. So, like, the ignore armor uh, on a famed one... So, let's see. Uh, is armor ignore the same? This is 40, 120 effective against armor. So, it's just about, like, the, I think, the consistency of damage, and, uh, not to mention the utility of the stun, which is a lot, a lot more powerful, I think, than the, like, the head damage.
Yeah, we have another quest available here. It's missing peoples. Ah, uh, shrats. Is that a tier 2 mace and a tier 3 flail? Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, you're right. The tier 2 mace is the wooden with metal on it. And the tier tier 1 or, or the, the the tier 2 flail is the wood with metal on it. Yeah, yeah. Shrats are uh, large tree enemies. I don't have any axes. I don't, want it to, I don't want to fight Shrats. Shrats fucking suck. Uh, what I do want to do is find some Reavers. Some Barbarians. So I can get some good throwing items. Doggo. Murder, 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 caw, caw, caw. Whoops, sorry. <clears throat> Get a little wild with my shots there. be the easiest start in Battle Brother for someone who has never played it. Uh, a new company or like the, tu like the tutorial start I think. Rocky went after the Reavers if you want it. Rocky went after the Reavers if you wait on turn one. That kind of sucks. Well, it's because he doesn't have Relentless. It's not very good.
This guy is very, very hard to kill. There we go. Jesus. That guy was like a super huge pain in the ass. Didn't get any throwing weapons though. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like de I definitely don't play on Iron Man mode and just be willing to die and then like just like experiment with stuff. Uh, is de definitely the way that I would say that you should do it. Uh, at least get started. I'm pretty sure they don't have to die with their item out. Pretty sure. Not a hundred percent sure. No melee defense, unfortunately. is bad here. Okay, what do we got? Granite Fest, where the fuck is that? I often redo a lot of fights as a sort of learning experience to see how I could have handled things differently and how to apply different strategies, different enemy types. Good way to do it, I think. I feel like I learn a lot more, even though I make very little in-game progress because I reload so much. Yeah, it's a great way to start, for sure. And then, like, uh, you know, you kind of, like, reload a lot and, and try out different stuff. Um... And um, you can use that experience later to not have to do it and, like, be okay with losing and whatever, you know? Okay, so extra three fatigue per turn. Renown increases, uh, but we only have ten allowed on the field. Ever since I started watching your stream, my vision of life has changed. You should see an optometrist. If your vision is affected in that way. Scorpio. I quit fast food, let my hair grow. Okay. <laughs> I feel if I simply get my ass handed to me without knowing what I did wrong, I wouldn't have gained much from it. Yeah, yeah. Agree. The only time I re need to reload is when Billy isn't responding to my memes, right? <clears throat> I don't think an optometrist can help you with getting a haircut and eating burgers again. I don't know, they might be able to. Uh, see, this one's your men start at confidence. Your renown increases. Extra renown for defeating enemies without them being engaged by other combatants. And then you you cannot use ranged weapons. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I am using ranged weapons, so. Oath of Camaraderie. You can take up to 14 men into battle. Your renown will increase. Uh, extra renown if your men become confident. Your men will always start randomly at wavering or breaking. Whoa, weird. That's a weird one. Interesting. Hmm. 
Where are we taking these oaths to? What? Are oaths persistent or is only one active at a time? Well, only one at a time. Turn one, doot doot meta? Yeah. I think I might need to actually have him carry the battle standard. Blow the horn and rush into battle. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Used to be you could get confident from rally. So the first action you used to rally until the whole band was confident. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would be fucking really strong. While walking the streets of Granite Fest, you come upon a crowd standing around a hanged man. He must have been some of some notoriety. The folks are muscling one another to try to get a turn to cut a toe, finger, or some sort of hanging heirloom. An old man is quickly elbowed out of the mob. He turns to you, voice raspy, his bony fingers tented like sickly ribs. Ah, settle sword, I. Of course, I can smell your business. It smells like shite. The purchase you made to say. Do a bit of work for me. I need a number of that man's dead fingers and toes for my work, you know. I just need them for my... Look, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to use them for. 500 crowns in return for it. Eh. Hey. I don't get the camaraderie penalty. I would expect that they have a bonus due to the fact uh, they're with other comrades. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that like they just needed to have some sort of a downside. I'm not going to get involved here. How's this old man at 500 crowns? I don't know. It's a mod. Yeah. It, it actually makes tryouts actually have some value. Like, a ton of value. Way, like, too much value, possibly. But uh, it just makes it nicer to not have to, like, hire and fire people. Just, and then, yeah. Definitely kind of changes the way that you hire units. So it's a very, very powerful mod. Is it ever good to sell the golden goose? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always sell the golden goose. It's pretty, pretty easy to tell if you're gonna be getting good value out of it because, I mean, like, you only get 15 gold a day, and there's not any events that are associated with the having the goose in your inventory, as far as I know. Um, yeah, it kind of depends on how early you get it. But that's a very, very good, very, very good sell price. All right, 
Alright, let's see what this quest is. My scouts tell me that a northern, a northern savage in Silver Plains is gathering an army. A gathering of idiots is not too out of the ordinary for these primitives, but I do believe this one is proclaiming himself king. And kings, well, they wish to be Caesarian over more than just what they have. They want to get, uh, they want what everyone else has got. What I got. I need you to go to the region of the Silver Plains, find this so-called Savage King, and kill him. It will not be easy, but you will go paid quite well. Buy price isn't very good, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to need the inventory space here. But I'm not going to sell, like, these kind of higher value items. Hunt down the Barbarian King and his war host, okay. Silver Plains and the snow northeast of where you are. Hey look, I found him. I'd like to fight him during the day. my range units. Yeah, that's a barbarian king, all right. Could be passing here um, and waiting for my bannerman, but I don't want to be like that much lo later in the queue. I don't feel like I don't know. Maybe it's not really. Maybe it doesn't really matter because they're going to be so much in such a much better position in the queue than me anyway. You need to pass because then you know, otherwise you're not going to get the benefit. Zedius doesn't have a shield. That might, that might be intentional. wall on him. Fuck, double breaks. That sucks. Thank you. 
you have a nimble? No. Definitely do not want you to be next to that fucking guy. I don't want you to be next to this guy either, though. Move you back here to help up here. I think we need more help. Good. Yep, some good doot doots. Fantastic doot doots. I think that we can get his armor if we wanted it. He would have to break, uh, which is like maybe questionable. I can't. I don't have the fatigue to attack him anyway. Dude, could you fucking hit that guy? He's so close to being dead. Like, that'd be fucking great. Thank you. See, this fucking Berlin can do it. Berlin understands. Blast them dudes, all right? Quit fucking panicking. I'm just gonna attack this guy. Really need this guy to die. Such shit. Okay, Rectify might be dead. Just, I'm just putting- oh fuck. Oh fuck. That was totally a huge fuck up on my part. Mother fuck. Could you just... Could you just... Okay, he's just dead. He's just dead. He's just dead. Mother fuck, dude. Like, come on. Just fucking shoot him for fuck's sake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Would have been great if somebody could have fucking hit something. Oh, great. He's probably dead too. I think this is our fucking cell sword too. No, it's not our cell sword. Like we had, I don't know, not enough. Oh, Zedius is dead too. It's not even the bar Barbarian King hasn't done literally anything at all. Hasn't done anything. Yeah, two people died. This guy, this guy is uh, rolling like a god here. Not anymore. No, they're both dead. They didn't get down. They're dead. Oh, damn it. Stupid fucking wavering. Shit, that'd be great. Thanks. Unbelievable, dude. Like, fuck. That sucks really bad. Two two-handed melees, just fucking dead.
That was like our fucking... Eh, oh well. Whatever. Alright, Polar Mastery for sure on you. I'm gonna go Berserk here. Like, I think maybe what we end up not getting is Killing Frenzy or something. Ugh, I'm so frustrated. I knew that I shouldn't have had that guy next to the fucking, um... Next to the cleaver. That's the real annoying one. And then the other guy, I had like three chances to kill him and we just failed every chance. So... This guy's any good. Alright. See that guy looks like he doesn't have a good melee he doesn't have a melee attack, but if he high rolls then this guy min rolled uh melee attack. Like, he could have had 67 starting melee attack, unfortunately. He has 59, but we'll keep him around, see what he does. He's got 10 melee defense to start, so he's going to have 35 average. So it's pretty good. Um, fat star with a literal mineral on that, and mineral HP, average resolve. Personally skipped underdog and the dagger guy dodging under what overwhelm kind of balances out not getting underdog already but more importantly getting going first every round makes it much easier to position correctly uh, and mindfully and play around not having underdog sure that makes sense so you kind of see what kind of rolls he gets but like I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what this guy's gonna be that guy yet. I don't know what he's doing. Do -do -do. for that armor. We did get that guy's helmet. A 250 helmet. 250 for 23. Okay, it's like worse than a decayed helm, but... Those freaking barbarians. less heavy helm because you just have no fatigue to work with. I 
I kind of maybe sold off some of the earlier armor that I had too quickly. Let's go to another town and see. It's like these guys still aren't paying very good money, right? No. No good price here. I didn't get any throwing items either. Okay. Let's maybe go over to Old Bing, I guess. Get some quests. Reavers. Yeah. Wanna fight some Reavers? Yeah, I feel like with starting with wavering. Jesus. What the fuck's up with all these Reavers? Since we're all starting with wavering, I think I need to, like, actually pass on everybody. Until we get a doot doot off. Oh, it's, like, laggy. It's like still, the game's still lagging after I did the doot doot. Weird. Look at, like I said, look at how laggy the game is. It does not like that at all. Weird. Boy, strange. <laughs> I've never had the game do anything quite like that before. I need some, yeah, I need some better GPU for this insane graphics. I'll restart the game is what I is what I'll do, but I've never had the game do that before. That's just weird. <laughs> He's just gonna die, and I didn't even get to see the animation for it.
Ready. Well, you'd think that uh, our fucking group was a pile of shit, given how this fight is fucking going. No, I didn't mean to hit fucking in turn. Fuck. <laughs> Piece of shit. So fucked. <laughs> Catch you later, I'll tell you. Have a good one. Fucking ridiculous. I definitely didn't think that this uh, this oath was going to be like an actual nightmare. Uh, I I don't know. I've never had the game lag like that before. That fight player. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm not... I'm, I'm just going to let them move into me. I think. I think staying put is probably fine.
Like, this definitely seems like a fight where we want, uh, 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 an oath where we want two. Um, rally the troops. Yeah. Like, they seem to break immediately, too. It doesn't just seem like they start with... with just the bad... Uh, the bad starting. It, it seems like they break instantly. Or, like, like quicker, anyway. sense since the <clears throat> since the morale state also affects resolve hmm. yeah easier it is to get them even lower and finally break sure Yeah, we got a, a two-handed hammer for somebody, I guess. I've, I've got like, do I even have? Do I have any two-handed ham? Two-handed melee units left? I have one. Three more levels until Templar is usable. Four helmet. Okay. 
now. Quiet historian, you don't even you don't even know who the hell any of these people were. You never you never you never talked to him one time. What's surprising though is like like we have a really significant resolve boost on uh, that ugly guy. Uh, I mean like I mean even breaking you're at 93 and it's just uh it would be nice to get a uh an indicator as to like how like what we're rolling, I guess. Before this guy for sure. gonna get try to get this guy surrounded just to try to get him to break because uh, otherwise he's just gonna kill my two-handed melee guy <laughs> what are your chances to you're still pretty bad <laughs> maybe it's just in my head it just feels like we're doing uh, like 
just worse against these Reavers, just in general, like beyond the, uh, the morale. Forged. A rotation on you. Um, I took Taunt on Einsteinium for now. It's because I've been already having some situations where I want Taunt. So I haven't gotten any throwing stuff, right? No. Frickin' camaraderie. We have become confident in battle 24 times, apparently. I'm gonna try to recover a little bit. Is there, there's no temple there. I haven't had, I haven't been to Old Bang. I don't know if there's a temple there. I'm gonna head there. No. Missing people. Oh, Selsword, I'm glad to see you. Please sit. Okay, this is the, um, the witch. They made a deal with the witch. I'm not getting involved. I've never been to that place? I thought we were at Schnellmark. Yeah, I was. I thought I thought we went to Schnellmark to here and then north. I guess not. Yeah, let's head down here then. We'll hit this temple up. Got a wild man. Do 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 do. Athletic wild man. No melee attack stars, though. Hmm. Disloyal club footed. Three stars melee attack. We know that their melee attack is going to be great. This could, like, sometimes I like to do, uh, like, polearm whip kind of a build where it's entirely focused on having really, really high melee, melee attack and get, get disarms off and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of like a hybrid, except for not... But it's it's like a pole arm that gets berserk, killing frenzy recover, pole arm mastery cleaver mastery. I'll take them with the intent of doing them, using them for that. Iron Lungs is cool, but no melee attack. Damn. 
I mean, it's fine. Uh, unfortunately, rolled minimum HP. Minimum fatigue. Okay, resolve. Average initiative. Almost minimum melee attack, but their melee attack will still be good. That is a really cool hat, that Undertaker's hat. Oh, I like that quite a bit. Looks very cool. Very cool. Got to check what their buy price was. Not any good. Where's this contract going? Southeast. Buy price is good. I think that this helmet is something that I'm going to want, but... I probably want to hold on to one of these spike maces. We could use it to, until we get a higher tier one. If we, if we do a two-handed mace build, which I do want to do. Pulling on to some of these scram saxes for undead stiff. Repair these. I don't. I don't think I need two of these hammers. I could probably sell this seventy-three value one. I kind of want to take this contract just to travel a bit to heal. It's literally, it's in the title of the stream. It's in, it's in the title. It's under the sauce. I don't see any cheese, not enough cheese and it's under the sauce. It's under the sauce. I take it your journey went well. Bah! A cell sword through and through. Bat wouldn't get this man what he deserves. Alright. Hell of depth. 
I don't want to go south. I want to go north. Let's go up here. Wow, a random brigand leader. Sounds great. Just wanted to fight them not in the woods. Where the fuck's your leader? Take me to your leader. What's he doing hanging out back there? Hmm? There he is. It's kind of, he's the kind of leader that leads from the back. Okay, I, I understand. Dude, dude. Uh, he was out of range. Could have, I could have moved too and dooted. Stand on that for no reason, Einsteinium. All right, great, thanks. his turn. How dare you? There we go. Alright, 39. Wow, easy. Two 39ers. No problem there, bud. Doot doot. Come on, fire. I'm dooting. Do you not hear? Wow. He just went right in for it. on that surround oh look at this guy so fancy dude dude bloody friggin duh using the riposte like he knows what he's doing
Yeah, you can get in there. You have to toot harder so that you start lagging the game, remember? Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. That's true. Although that fight was that wasn't very effective, I guess. Doot doot, boys. Run him down, of course. There we go. I will take that loot. Thank you very much. 210 helmets and a 190 armor. Nice, not bad. Good roll, good roll. Like throwing mastery, even though I don't have any other throwing things, unfortunately. this guy can get a name if he like rolls really exceptionally well then it could be something interesting but that knight so has got a name he did finn Yeah, because like the Dexterous makes your melee attack not too bad, but just, uh, you didn't get the stars in melee attack, unfortunately. Your roll could have been really good. Terrified villagers. I guess I can find fodder, I guess, but... Let's check this out. They say that ghosts are afoot. Yes, the local peasants are poisoning my mornings with constant talk of ghosts and goblins. They say these supposed creatures are turning the cemetery upside down, raiding the graves to enlarge their army or some such nonsense. Obviously, it's just the work of some spade-wielding men intent on robbing graves or jewelry. I've seen it before. It's definitely undead. Uh, this, this might be not a great idea considering our wavering. I'm in a fight with 14 war dogs. Never seen that many. Is it a noble fight? It must be, right?
Oh, two barbarian groups together. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a bunch of nachos. Sorry, I, I should have passed on my range units. That's all right. The perfect seed generator page was updated with new origins. Nice. Also, in case you're wondering, do. This is the only one that can consume this turn. Attacks. God damn, guys, come on. Fucking focus. Glad fire is kind of fucking holding up here somehow. I mean, they don't have that great of a chance to hit. It's just that I'm not uh, like winning a whole ton of coin flips. So they're not dying super quickly, which is fine. Like, we're not doing that bad. that one. 
one. Very nice. Okay, good. Kind of the panic. Exactly what we want. He might consume, but I don't think that he can consume and, like, actually leave. At least not yet. Try not to shoot the arrows to where, you know, where he is. Because, you know, he's not, he's still in there. Prefer to him to not be uh, skewered alive while inside of the nacho. Yeah, that'd be great, okay? Good, thanks. down of course he's fucking in so he's inside of there you gotta get him out it's very important as it turns out don't worry we're, we're gonna we're gonna get you it's fine don't worry we're coming in for you there we go he's he's fine he's fine he's just saying was just in there for just a month just a minute a minute or two Nothing to worry about. Everybody stop panicking. Inside of a nacho sounds like a cool documentary I'd watch. Yes, definitely. What happens when he runs off with one of your bros in his belly? They're gone. They are D E D dead. They don't run away like they used to. It used to be like they would, it seemed like anyway, they would like consume your dude and like actively fucking try to run away. <laughs> or like they would flee. Like, they would panic and, like, run off the map with your dude inside of them. They don't seem to do that as much anymore, anyway. Bro becomes poop, yeah. Gets pretty poopy. Yeah, let's head back up north. I'm gonna venture a guess. Sounds like a shitty situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely got an iron stomach. Uh, but yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be undead for the event. Just, I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of undead stuff. You know? I have Colossus in the polearm whip build. And I mean like because the 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 alchemist or anatomist, excuse me, has poor starting HP, I'm like more inclined to take it. That being said, I don't know, like if I don't take Colossus, yeah, they're they're probably just too squishy. Um I don't take it on hybrid though. And I also, like, took out, a lot of the times, bags and belts. I take out bags and belts from the hybrid. 
And I'll instead use, like, Executioner just for additional damage. I think maybe their their health is like so low. Eleven chosen is tougher than he thought. Yeah, it can definitely be pretty tough. I I'm gonna keep doing some of these fights just to try to reach whatever the achievement is here for having our troops hit the high morale. Step forward and then back? What the hell is that guy doing? This is a good, good shot, Clarkus. Very nice. having a pretty bad day five percent chance to hit i am i'm just i apologize i apologize Do boys, come on, let's get confident. Time to get cocky. Get up there. Fucking send it, bud. I gotta pass on you. I don't have, I don't have anywhere for you to go. I'm sorry, Rocky, there's no space. Nine, nice. Oh, not nice. Feels bad. Let's 
65. Let's go with this, this hit because we know if we hit him, he's gonna die. to this brigand marksman. And we'll scoot on down here. Go ahead and stand right next to all those units. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Nice hit, Clarkus. Let's go, Clarkus. Let's go. I should be feeling mega confident right now. Some more throwing stuff. Excellent. Thank goodness we need it. I am going to need bags and belts so that way I can fit in these uh, smoke pots. Smoke pots are kind of important because I don't I don't run footwork on my uh, ranged units which is good in that we have another perk point to spend on something that deals more damage allows them to deal more damage um but it's also risky you know cuz footwork is a lot, what allows you to like it's like an ability you use to step away from a unit that's adjacent to you without having to um without having to take an uh a zone of control attack and it also isn't like uh it isn't like rotation where like you need another unit to swap places with you just step away they got a they got a droot good prices Oh yeah, extra arrows I want on units as well. This way, even if we do run out during the course of a fight, I can actually like have somebody drop them on the ground or whatever, randomly, if need be. Hold on to 
two jagged fangs, and that way if we get one nacho horn, then we can use that. Prices aren't good enough there for anything. Prices on food are fucking bananas, but because there's a drought. No melee defense, though. It's cool to have three stars of melee attack, but... How many more days do I have left on this one? Six? Ugh. <laughs> it's like a fucking eternity. Uh, let's see. Sir Magnus the Liar, an adventurous noble. Team player, also disloyal, in case you were wondering. Also disloyal. That's a relatively cheap hedge knight, I suppose. Especially one with a, a two-handed mace. Like, the two-handed mace in and of itself is lot. Uh, I think I might hire that guy then. Oh, you have a level fodder, by the way. Okay. Try out that hedge knight. Oh, wow. A, a very good tank. I've already got good tanks, though. Like, I've already got one, like, really good tank. And Tippy. <laughs> and I've, and I've really got, I've got, I basically got three tanks. So I've got an extra tank already. But the, but no melee attack. I mean, he's got, um... Three-star melee defense. And if it weren't for Brute, like, Brute, I feel like, even makes it worse. But he's got this... this mace. Which is good. Like, in the worst case scenario, he has 53 melee attack with no stars in melee attack. So, so like, he would be exclusively a tank anyway. Like, he's, he's, he's like a tank anyway. So, it's whether or not I want to hire him for the gear and then have him as a, a fourth tank. Gear is like actually worth. It's probably just worth hiring him just for the gear. It's it's gotta be. It has to be. It has to be. 
We're really broke, by the way, but... Somebody stole my demonic statuette! Take this. Wow, he actually rolled a very good melee attack. But I mean, he's still only ever going to have like 81 average melee attacks. So I don't think it's actually, it's probably not worth putting any points into it. Probably. His salary is a lot. The fat, neutral, two-handed flail bro, I guess. Yeah, but his, his melee attack is going to be bad. Like it's gonna, it's it says sixty six here, but it's not gonna be. It's it's sixty one because of because of the other thing. Like eighty eighty one melee attack is quite poor. He's gonna have. He, I feel like he also has enough HP potentially that he could actually be nimble, too. Yeah, I suppose he could nimble greatsword. Maybe. Oh yeah, I was potentially going to be doing uh, Xander as a mace. A two-headed mace. Thing. If we did him at, like somebody to go along with Rocky with a, with his Katal dagger, so if we wanted to do that, that means that we need adrenaline, uh, adrenaline mace. Adrenaline Mace, maybe Pathfinder, too. Oh, yeah, how much is that Hedge Knight a day, by the way? 36.
Since he's battle-forged already, fitting adrenaline's a bit trickier. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he, that's right, he'd need quick hands, too. But, uh, well, eh, he might, he might not have room for quick hands. So let's see. So we, if we have, we have three things. Well, four because he has students. We have four things. So, so mace mastery, reach it, uh, reach advantage maybe, mace mastery for sure, adrenaline for sure. And two more things. Could get reach advantage. Ace mastery, adrenaline, KF quick hands. What's KF? Kill oh, killing frenzy. Yeah, killing frenzy does make sense. Killing frenzy does make sense. No, reach advantage is specifically two-handed melee weapons. Hmm. He might need recover. Mace Mastery, Adrenaline, Recover. Maybe he just doesn't get the Pull Mace. I don't know if he... How much, he's, I mean, the Pull Mace would be good. But... You're not a duelist yet. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, exactly. We're trying to figure this out. Or I am, anyway. Wait, I'm gonna see what it's like a little bit without without Pathfinder. Have you recently played any of the new Vampire Survivors content? No, I have not. Haven't had the time. Just wanted to wait to not fight them in the in the uh, swamp. Flail headhunter for that hedge knight. I mean, I, I guess. We're starting at wavering because of our oath. It allows us to have 14 units on the field, but it makes it forces us to start at either wavering or breaking. I don't like this oath. I hate it. I 
I've already lost two units while under this fucking oath. It's brutal. It just takes time to get rid of it. Like we've got another six days of it or something, something like that. I already struggle with Anatomist not being able to be confident ever. Morale tanks uh, like a pair of sagging tits real fast. Yeah. Fucking rough. Fucking rough. Wow. What a shot. 35. <laughs> This is an awful fight. are causing me some fucking problems. You've already been hit twice, Hammer. I should get the hell out of there. It's like if you had quick hands, you could swap and swing again here. Mace Mastery quick hands. Recovery Adrenaline. No Pathfinder. Adrenaline seems really important if I want to use it 
with the C Catal Dagger, which isn't, it's, it's not like it's going to be, the Catal Dagger is going to be, like, really important for a lot of stuff, but, like, there's going to be some things where it's going to be pretty strong. Adrenaline mace pairs up really well with it. Okay. Yeah. I think I think I'm gonna like it once we get it. I just have to get it. Templar almost fucking died because this guy is just beating his ass. It'd be really great if we could fucking kill this guy. Maybe I can't. There we go. Oh damn, Templar. we took but whatever well these templar leveled up i mean that's, that's something i guess Nice nimble de bimble. Likelihood of survival just went up significantly. Is there any gear that I wanted to get on other units? Still need to get some uh, hyena mantles. Like I haven't haven't gotten those at all. Let's 
Let's go elsewhere. Hey, a little bit of food. Oh, did I not organize my inventory? Uh, we got good tool prices here. A little bit of that. A little bit of food. And I need a quest. What is this? I have a task for you if you're interested. Um... Beast slaying, weapon X, slender wolves, nothing too frightening. Okay. Go on the map, points to the nearby region of the Barum to the west, the man belches. The pay is per head, I hope that suits you well. 62 crowns per head. Okay. I mean, I, I, I do want to kill some of this stuff. Just wolves. What are slender butts? I don't know. The hills region of Barum. Oh god, 440 crowns I'm paying a day? Holy shit, what is this, the gladiator run? Holy fuck, bud. I literally do not have the money. Should not have taken this fucking quest. Uh, I didn't uh, have to take off my shields in combat here. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot. A lot like pose.
job, Lord. Okay, bye, Spooters. Spooters are leaving. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, you're actually coming back. Oh, I didn't think you were. Fucking rumble spoders. Let's fucking go. Started playing Battle Brothers, first contract, escort caravan, got jumped by four reavers, insta killed. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's a, that's a perfect welcome to Battle Brothers. Exactly. Leaving for now, for reals. Oh, that guy came back one step. Oh, this one's still here, right? I think they're leaving. It's only up to 15 heads, and there's multiple groups of monsters out here. I also don't know if the spiders that spawn from the, uh, from the nests, if they even count. Uh, apparently they do. I wish we could have been paid for more heads, because we're going to get a lot of kills out of this fight.
Or we're gonna get a lot of dead people, I guess. Oh, we actually spawn pretty close to a nest. Pretty rare to be able to even have a chance of killing one of them. Still not gonna try. Not, or not worth it. Yep, nests do indeed exist. Shouldn't have had my shields on. I, I assumed that one of these was going to be a pack of wolves, but I was very, very wrong. Like, this is this is very. Th th these are the kind of spider fights that like are super fucking dangerous. Especially because I have two ranged people on the party and shit. that bad it's just that like because of our morale reduction i think we might actually die here i shouldn't have tried to get him out i forgot he was broke Might have to mulligan on this one. like Elden Ring? Yeah, this is this is the new patch for Elden Ring.
Yeah, I'm not a fan of the fight right now. Definitely not. John Clarkus. Fuck off. Yeah, this positioning is fucking brutal. Good job, Rocky. Just use my fucking range guy to get a hit. Here. Trying to set him up to get that kill, but so it goes. Fuck. Come on, guys, focus. This guy getting an attack, he could he could die. When they're webbed, like more of their attacks ignore armor. Okay. Good. open. Good that they're attacking him. Lucky. gonna send Rocky out. Maybe he could fucking break him or something. I don't know.
Its turn is done, and yet it gets overwhelmed. The, um, that must is that a bug? No pun intended. I just thought that you'd kill it with an attack. Oh well. <clears throat> likely to die here it looks like okay Okay. I'll be back with the five months. This game looks confusing. It's not confusing. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the screen, but it's like any other tactics game, right? There's my units. There's the enemy's units. I attack them. And then they die. Or, uh, or mine die. <laughs> not too crazy. Don't leave any love lying around, all right? I'll be back. Make sure you pick it up and take it with you. Thanks so much for the support. Really do appreciate it. Indeed, a redo I do. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Last spider, spider. You're the last one. Oh my god, and you webbed me. What an ass. I 
I did not think that everybody would make it. Yeah, I was uh, not certain myself. But here we are. Here we are. Now we have another problem where we are broke as fuck. But, uh. I should have just enough time to make it back before my next pay period. Like, it's gonna be so close. Wow. Like, literally. <laughs> the moment. Okay. I'm out of arrows again. Um... You guys have a good buy price? No, it's terrible. Great. Okay, let's leave. I need to make money really bad. On old attacks. On old uh, is not a great way to make money. Saddle sword, by the gods, get over here. These fine folks state that there's a beast afoot. No, no ordinary beast, but a monster. A giant, a big un, a big old giant out there. Right out that way, I've seen it. Right, so I'm willing to offer you payment to seek this giant out. Are you up to the task? Are you up to the task, Saddle sword? Do you want to kill a gigantic, freaky monster thing? Um... Like... What are you paying me? It's like two days. I don't know how many unolds this is gonna be. You get men killed your payday drops so win-win i mean uh, yeah that's very true you're not wrong Got me a famed leopard armor, 342 durability, 26 fat. Wow, that's a great one, look those. So what I want to be doing here is um, I want to have my tanks tie up unolds as best they can, like just stand next to them. I, ha I only have one tank that has taunt, it's like kind of a bit of a problem, but um, like that's the general plan. Then I want everybody else to stay back. get notified of the giants being around. I don't see them. There they are. Why are you running away from 
me. Not great at all. So the plan is to, to kill this one as soon as possible. That's the plan right now. We can kill it pretty quick. There's a little presumptuous of me. Okay. Not, not, not unexpected for us to get injured here. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But he missed. Okay, that's great. Okay, good. This is working out okay. So now what I need to do here is I need to taunt... It's not like great because he's because we could end up with injuries and stuff, but daze him. Gonna katal dagger this guy. Fifty-four damage. So this one's looking pretty dead. Sorry. Sorry about that, Templars. My my bad. S sorry about sorry about that. Sorry. Missed a seventy-two. It's all right. I don't, uh, Berlin. That you're kind of damaged, so. back. You guys need to stop missing so goddamn much. I'm gonna taunt him to force him to attack, which is better than him picking me up and throwing me, generally. Not always, but he 
He's not phased anymore. Like, I know the unold is literally the size of a barn. But it's really hard to hit. It's very slippery. I love it when they roll one. He, he rolled twos on fatigue and and uh, and resolve. So, like, I'm not gonna pick either of those over melee attack. And I think it just needs every melee attack you can get. So, I'm gonna take another taunt uh, here. I'm gonna start. Maybe I should take take start taking taunt earlier, around like instead of rotation this early. I don't know. Do do maybe eight hundred seventy crowns. Yeah, good. We didn't get. No, the game crashed. It press escape. Okay, it's a bug town. Thank you. You're not a fan of slop, are you? I, I do like rotation. I, I run rotation on my tanks, and I run it on my fodders. So, like, for me, I feel like... I, like, rotation's fantastic, and it's very powerful, but I just like to run other things, I guess. I've done some runs where I run like rotation on everybody and it's pretty great uh, but generally I only run rotation on my tanks uh, to, to be able to like get into a position and then like get somebody out of a shitty position um, so that's where I like it but like having it on everybody is still is still good but I just like to have it on only tanks Should fix itself if you save and reload. Okay. Might as well reset the game, I suppose. Yeah, I know, it's brutal. The bright white screen, trust me. Been having some fucking eye fatigue for sure. <laughs> Been trying to have my lights for the studio down to a minimum. All right, hey, look at that, it works. Okay. There's a lot of people that I would love to try out, but I need money. Uh, and I don't have a lot of money. We're paying 450 crowns a day. 
I still would love to get a hold of uh, some throwing weapons that are uh, from the Reavers. So I guess I'm going to head up north. I mean, I guess I can see what this is. This this might be a quest to deal with Reavers. Oh. This is another army one. Okay. How many crowns are we talking about here? Okay, that's a lot of money. All right, we're going to take it. So it's going to be another... Um... Another uh, barbarian uh, warlord thing. No, no, no. Um, we have a oath that we're under right now. So, like, um, have you been here for a little bit, Rourke? Um, so, like, this specific oath is allows us to have 14 men, but we start every battle at either wavering or breaking. Uh, this oath is terrible, and I, I, in my opinion, I don't like it at all. I heard the sound. I do not see anything. Oh, there they are. The stats. Oh, and a sacrificial altar. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, this wouldn't be... It wouldn't be so bad if I could... Oh, I gotta swap my gear. Um, it wouldn't be so bad if I could um not if I could if I had to rally the troops if I had two pawns with rally the troops which it isn't bad like I wouldn't mind having two bannerman type characters because that way I can uh um you know be better off versus geists and stuff like that would be great um, and it would really help it with this particular oath. Yeah. Because we need lots of dutes. A lot of dute dutes if we want to recover. It's pretty nasty. What if you kited for a turn or two, step back and such? I mean, maybe I could try to step back. It's, it's like a bit awkward to do it, but. I don't know, maybe, I mean, what, what, what could it hurt? Let's give it a shot. Just tries taking two steps back. A little step to the right.
This is a pretty fucking terrifying fight, I think. By the way, we're definitely not like <clears throat> super well set up for a bunch of uh, chosen. I think I should definitely pass and then death blow this guy after we hit him with the mace, which I'm assuming we hit him with the fucking mace, I guess, but... Is this origin hard to play? You start with two strong units with good armor. Uh, the pay is pretty high. Um, it's It's been... It was difficult for me to get started. Um, it, it was difficult for me to, to get started, but... I don't know that it's more difficult than some of the other starts, really. Like the beast slayers, you have actual armor. Yeah, I mean, you, do, you get, you do have armor. Man, fucking terrible, terrible hit chance. Fucking rough, man. We're, we're gonna get fucking wrecked next turn, probably. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just walked him next to the fucking guy. I, I just want, I want him to be ready to get a good hit in on a guy next turn with the uh, fucking after we hit him with the mace. But, um. Uh, the mods that we're using are in the spreadsheet, which is exclamation point BB builds.
Fucking of course this guy. Yeah, great. Of course this guy that I set up with the days uses adrenaline. We lose our two-handed melee. I, I missed like four attacks on the fucking this chosen. Two. Our head chance isn't very good. I just don't. Oh man, I just really do not like this fucking oath. Either, either we mulligan or this is game over. Probably. I don't know. Maybe we can recover it, but... can't really attack anybody with Rocky. Are there some games that... Some mods that help understand the game more? No. I don't... I don't know, I guess? Uh, like, what, what, uh, what are you having trouble understanding, I guess? Moving next to these cleavers with Rocky is complete suicide. End your turn, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Wow, that's kind of fucking terrifying. Well, I guess at that point, my best bet is to move in and fucking overwhelm him, I guess. Sometimes I don't know which enemies are worth to dagger or what brother potential is. Um, I, okay, so like, I guess in that particular case, there is a mod that shows... Um, like what armor values are for enemies. fight i guess i just have to possibly fail the quest i don't even think i i, I think i might have one more reset left after this one I just don't have anything to, like, get through that armor, you know? Yeah, maybe some nets. I 
I have a two-handed hammer. Yeah, I just don't, uh, let's see. I'm not even at fucking full health. Yeah, melee defense and, and uh, initiative, but if they adrenaline, then it doesn't make a difference, right? Fucking, I've got, I've got a whip and quick hands, but I can't use it. Yeah, that's what I'm, like, looking at, like, where I can fit these in. That's why he has some fucking fatigue to use, I guess. Um... We're not that high of a level right now. I mean, three, five, seven, eight, six, five. So probably five on average. Six. Why is he the ugly guy? It's not. It's not his name. It's Chat's name. Not all of Chat. Just. I mean, I think the real issue is that, uh, like, we I think we have like a an all right chance, but the the resolve is just a fucking nightmare to deal with. I can only back up two squares and and dudes. But I get they were on uh, like well, at least one of them was on me round 1 or round 2. So it's going to be awkward if we if we try to back up. I suppose it's possible but
I can only move back one tile with my Bannerman then. I I think we might just stick it here. If you hear, you hear. Uh, while well, you go back here, you come up here. Something. We're still in such fucking rough shape. They're gonna go before me and be on be on me next turn. Some of them will. I'm pretty sure. Fucking meme, man. I can't even like throw a net here on you. I'll probably try to net him. Okay, 245 misses. Awesome. Yeah, that's fucking brutal, man. <laughs> fucking already failing. Yeah, I figured that's what he was going to do. All right. Let's get Finn in there.
It's like, the, that's probably the most important hit of the fucking fight. Right there. He's definitely dead. Oh, we didn't we didn't recover him either. Crazy. Alright. Well, I suppose that's, uh, that's it. The one guy that we hit with the, with the big hammer is pretty nice. Got, we got through him pretty quickly. That bar is probably gonna die to that axe, but I mean that's that's his problem. Fucking weird n noise. Um. I mean, chosen aren't always that bad, but we're just not ready for them yet. If I have two handed. I just can't recover him. He's just. He's just fucking long gone. Uh, anyway, with two-handed melee stuff, it's really not too bad for us, but uh, we don't we don't have the setup for it. Stuns and staggers are all really really good. Yeah, you're dead, hybrid. Well, I guess we're gonna have to be starting a new file on Monday. That's probably what it's looking like. contract was big it was a really expensive contract is what I mean this guy's gonna adrenaline too fucking so brutal well, at least he hit his own guy I guess Just in time, Egon. Just in time to get a stun on that fucking guy. It's like the most terrifying thing ever when they use adrenaline. It's super fucking scary.
I don't know. I could reload and try to not, like, just not fight this fight. But either way, we have to do that on Monday because it's oh, I'm already. Already past seven. I don't know if I can actually back out of the fight. But I definitely can't win this. We're gonna chain into failure here. No. All right, well, either way. I hope that you all 